Oh my God! You think there was you think there was Mookie yes, slave owners, bro? Yes, of course. Mookie slave owners. Corey, go take a yo, go take a bath. So I can fuck you. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Of course, not bro. the not the Mook slave owners. The Mook slave. The, the, the DL the, D, the DL slave owners. Yes, I, I'm pretty sure that that was very common, bro. Oh my gosh! You stink. Go take a shower so I can do nasty things to you. Like, yo, <laughs> not gonna lie, that's some evil work. All right, now go on this. Now go on this pod. A lot of niggas now. Wait, that that camera been rolling? Yeah, it been rolling. No, it has it? Yes, it has been rolling. <laughs> it's been rolling. Yeah. So I got I got <laughs> dirt on you now, nigga. Corey, if y'all watching this and y'all work with Corey, he love y'all. Because <laughs> they might. <laughs> he loves y'all. Man, I swear to God, that camera been. Rolling. I swear to God, that shit been rolling. For how long? Since you sat down. No, you know it hasn't, bro. I swear to God. It's been all right. Let me not swear to God because I don't know if it has, but like ever since I set it up, it's been recording. So ever since that light been on, that shit been recording. Yes, why? Yeah, you've been saying hella mooch. Hey, yeah. yo, 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 yo. <laughs> that but shit like, I don't got it's not gonna be on here because I don't got this on. Oh, why? Bro. So you're safe. But if you want to repeat it, Corey said he has better abs than me. I know. I, I, I'll repeat that. I, I no, I did not. You have better abs than I me, said right? Had. Okay, that's different. We're not talking about right now, bro. No, I thought you meant now. <laughs> I never said that. I bro. meant now. No, yeah, I know. What you, I meant now. Yeah, you said that now. After I said I had better abs than you. Yo, wait, wait, what, what, like how long ago was this? I said the statement. I said, I said, yo, we used to have the same amount of facial hair. Yes. And you said you used to have the same amount of facial hair and the same abs. I was like, no. I said I had better abs than you. <laughs> no, so my uh my our sophomore year, I had good abs. Yeah, I had better ones than you. No, you did not. Yes, I did. You had bro. the same. That was that though. Was no, it? yo, and my so, our sophomore year had better abs than you. Bro. Your freshman year was your your peak. No, sophomore year before Dante hurt me. What happened? To you? Oh, you rolled your anchor, right? Yeah, size eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, bro! You want you want to do the intro, or you would you like to me to do, do the intro? Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode one hundred and nine. I'm your host, DWAK Darius, mm-hmm. and I'm one of the hosts of the No Regulars Podcast. And I got another host with me today. His name is Corey Petty, but we call him KP because you know we don't use too many words around here. We type don't shit. use too many words, but we don't talk for real. I mean, we just. We just let the mind speak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he was going with that. We just, <laughs> I mean, we, don't talk we, just no we just doze off. You know okay, Blank Man. That's gonna be for Halloween. If y'all know what Blank Man is, put it in the comments. Please tell me y'all watch Blank Man, bro. If you watch Blank Man, bro, I will give you five dollars. Corey <laughs> is. I'm not gonna lie. If y'all don't know by now, Corey is really a 45 year old man in a 24 year old body. Bro. Like his man. Like what? Like what are you? He what are you? What are you excited to watch when you get home? Everybody hates Chris. <laughs> like you know how old that nigga is now? <laughs> He's 30. Okay. Why, like, like th- that nigga was like fifteen back then? No, he wasn't. He was le- he was like nine or thirteen. That's even worse. That's seventeen years ago, bro. That show fire, bro. It is fire, <laughs> but like that's like that's a show that you watch when you like when you wake up in the morning and you about to get ready for school. And every everybody, everybody hates Chris comes on at like seven. Nah, I watch four episodes in an hour, bro, before I go to sleep. Nah, so you would rather watch that or like Drake and Josh? Right now, yeah, black sitcoms. Do your homework on niggas being racist, bro. How am I being racist? <laughs> you you want to watch the white people? No, I don't want to watch the white people. They're damn. Why is niggas being niggas gonna throw the racism at me? <laughs> niggas gonna throw the racism at no, me. No, I'd ra- rather watch uh, everybody hits Chris and Drake and Josh. Yes. Okay. Okay. Fine. fine. You don't know, like dun 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 dun. No, you don't fucking with it. I, I okay, that's yeah. fine. But everybody. Hold on, I just forgot something. Yeah, I didn't put it on Do Not Disturb. Should we be nervous? Who phone is it? It's my phone. Why should you be nervous? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> He's weird. He's really weird. Let's pause it real fast. Do Not Disturb. I started again. Yeah, we'll just do that. That's fine. Welcome back. Has some technical difficulties. Has some technical difficulties. I did admit again. You know, start off ass. But if you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Comment all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? Episode 109 of No Records Podcast. Your host, DW, AK Darius. KP again. You know what it is. You already know type shit. Um, Yeah, so like we were saying before, Corey is 45 in a 24-year-old body. He wants to go home and watch Everybody Hates Chris I, and wake up it. at 6.30 in the morning to go kill dogs. I, didn't go, I, 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 I don't kill them, bro. I just take them out the room. Corey <laughs> is literally the, the, the grim reaper just, of a veterinarian I just, place. I, just, I, just, I don't kill them, bro. I just take them out the room. I'm not allowed to kill them. But didn't you drop... Like, so are they like... Do you do you know when a body dies? Like, doesn't their body like like bloat? Like, bloat up? It, it not don't happen that, I mean it don't happen that fast So do y'all burn them Like what do y'all do With the oh, dead we just, we just put it in the freezer And then somebody else Picks it up and burn them 
Oh, okay. So y'all just y'all got like a like a freezer. You know what's crazy, yo? At the at the other place, went I don't think I should say that. Fuck it. At the other place, when our, our refrigerator stopped working and we had to go over there and borrow their their fridge, that's before I didn't know that that's where we like that they kept the dead animals, but we was using that freezer. That As for food, yeah, to keep our stuff in there. So oh we, yeah, not we, wilding. Yeah, we, wilding. We were yeah. using the same freezer <laughs> as the dead dogs. <laughs> I didn't know that though. I know it now though. But this nigga just be giving up information of his job. Yeah, fuck it. Bro. Hey, fuck it, bro. Ain't nobody gonna watch this shit for my job. <laughs> you never know. Hope you don't. If you do, that w- that one worker might watch it. With the with, oh, which one? The hidden vampire. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what the fuck? That's her name, bro. The hidden vampire. Her name on. On Discord, she's oh, okay. she the, she the hidden vampire. Bro. Okay, I, I thought it was something else, but okay. Jamie, you the goat. All right, bro. But we got a special episode for y'all today. If y'all don't know, we got we. If y'all don't know this, for all my audio listeners, you can't watch this. But if you're watching us on YouTube, we got our costumes on. Mm-hmm. Every episode up until the end of October, we're all gonna be wearing something related to Halloween. So we're wearing something sports themed because you know the NBA season's right. Around the corner. And you already know what I'm about to do. Draft Kings, baby. If we don't have the sponsorship yet. Not yet. Uh, no, my, my bad, my bad, my bad. I thought we had the sponsorship. But yeah, um, feel me? You know, I'm about to bet. So if y'all got some locks, yo, send all to me, bro. I, I'm in that mold, bro. Matter of fact, I lied. Y'all need locks? Come to me, bro. I'm in that mold, bro. I've watched five, Corey lose $1,000 before. $5, $5 a pick, bro. Let's go, bro. Y'all want some money? Y'all want to win money? He also seen me win 2000 So what are you trying to say? So yeah, you can help me. Like if I if I put my trust in you to win some bets, you think you got me? Yeah, for NBA. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like what? Like like all right. All right. We'll, we'll take a we'll take a look. We'll take a look. Cause I remember I did I tell you like I I bet one time and I like yeah after I was begging you to make an account and then you did it for somebody else holding nigga that's that's how your niggas really treat you <laughs> but niggas be your man I was begging this nigga for mad long yo just make the account for me so I can get a free bet bro you don't even gotta use it bro I give you the ten dollars to bet nah bro I ain't gonna do that shit bro nah I don't want to get into that life bro some, I was I was some bored o- some other nigga asked him to do it and he did it I think you don't know you know you don't know Collins I think you Co- you did it for Collins bro yeah, it was for Collins. L man's, <laughs> yo, literally, he gave me a bet and I almost won. It was like it was like five dollars to eight hundred or some shit like that. Five dollars to like or like five dollars to like four six four six hundred eight hundred something like that. I just need Lamelo Ball to score fifteen points. Well, he had like fourteen. Probably, no, he bro. had five because he rolled his ankle first quarter. Damn, everything was good, bro. Damn, I know that shit hurt. I never did it. I never played again. Never played again. Nah, That's I'm cool. A, it's just I've occurred that shit to me too. What? He fucking got. Remember he he like missed mad games at about before All Star. Wait, why? Because he was hurt. The, yeah, but something happened with the Maverick. He bumped knees with somebody. Oh yeah, I think the you did had, tell me the, about the nigga that. Nigga had twenty one points and three threes. I needed twenty five and four threes, bro, to win like five thousand, bro. And this nigga, didn't you? third quarter, bro, nigga never came back in, bro. <laughs> I was I was about to I was about to punch everything, bro. Did you also say that Russell Westbrook made you cry? It wasn't Westbrook's fault though; it was Ty Lue's fault. But, but like, what was the payout for that one? Like eight bands, bro. Eight what? bands for how much you bet? Five dollars, nigga. That was a that was a, a hell mary, bro. Hell mary pick and fucking Westbrook had. I needed Westbrook to get, I think, eight re no four rebounds and ten points or some shit like that. Yeah, or fifteen points, and he had fourteen and f- and three, and nigga didn't play the whole second half, bro. Wow, and I needed I needed LeBron to get eight rebounds, eight rebounds. Yeah, and he had one at halftime. He ended with like twelve. That's so. Ass. So LeBron did me, LeBron did me clean, and and Ty Lue did me dirty. I know Westbrook would have got this shit. Dang, bro. And you know what's crazy? Westbrook missed the free throw right before he came out, but I still needed one more rebound though. But still, that's some crazy. See, that's why I don't bet, bro. I don't want. I don't want to feel that way. I love my. I love like. I love. What I mean, I got. It, it makes me watch sports more though. You think so? Mm-hmm. I, I watch hockey, bro. <laughs> yeah, nah, you need you need help, bro. But I mean, yeah, you need help, bro. I do. One, hey, it's all one, it's all good, one, bro. Eight, one eight hundred gamblers. Can you bet on wrestling? Nah, like WWE. Yeah. Nah, because it's stage. It's stage, right? Yeah. So like, if mm-hmm. nigga, if, so nigga got the right script, he's up. <laughs> Low key. If he got the Low script, key. he's up, bro. I was about to say, like, if you get the, like, just imagine you get the fucking, like, you just get the, the like, the leaked files. That's what I'm saying. Of it's WrestleMania, up, bro. It's up. You just bet all, all your bread on that. But imagine, like, they, they trick you. They trick niggas, like, as a prank. Like, and, they, and you bet all your bread and you lose. Yeah. Man, they might do that. I think they said they was trying to do WWE, 
and they was gonna let the scripts out like right before the match, like oh whoever wins right before the match. So like, feel me, you you won't know until like your match is about to start. Ah, got it, got it. I get you, I get you. Ain't ain't crazy. I don't know. I, I might start. I might do a little bets here and there, but I might not. I don't know. I, yes, you are, bro. DraftKings sponsorship. Yes, you are. We doing. Oh we, yeah, DraftKings. We betting this season, bro. Feel me? DraftKings if you're watching, bro. DraftKings if you're watching this, you sponsor me? us. You know what I'm saying? Twenty five percent off. You feel me? We're the best pod. We're the boost in the Northeast. You know That's what I'm saying? saying Nobody bro. betting us. Definitely Who the best pod in Jersey, bro. Who better than we? I don't know. Nobody. Type shit, bro. You niggas is regular. We not regular. Gangster nigga. Hella gangster, bro. Yeah, I ain't know. Damn, bro. Nigga just he just got me hyped, bro. Now I'm locked in now. Lock in, bro. So let now since we lock, I got we got some stories to tell y'all people. So do you want to start off with what happened last night? What happened last night? Pause. Yo, damn, I was, about to, I was about to say it anyway. I was about to, yo, me and Darius went to the bat. Let me stop. <laughs> uh, last night we went to Clinton Road, the haunted road in Jersey, where the boy jumped off the bridge and killed himself. And the the sat- sat- satanic, I said it right. Yeah. Satanic niggas be there, bro. Or the not niggas, the satanic wiggers be there. Want me? Let me let me want me explain the story and, to and them. The, and the KKK be there, bro. Want me explain the story to them? Yeah, you can explain the story. So bro. basically, people, we did something very dumb. We it, it wasn't. It could have gone really bad, but it was it was some it was something over the edge. So basically, if y'all don't know, if you want to know how dumb it was, you want to tell me the name of the series. I uh, I let I let know at the end. I let know all at right, the end. All right. So basically, so. There is a road in New Jersey that's not only the most one of the most haunted roads in the country. It's one of the most haunted roads in the entire world. It's called Clinton Road, and it's in West Milford, New Jersey. When I tell you this road got ghost apparitions, this this road got satanic rituals in the woods. This road got Ku Klux members in the woods. Like it's like a ten mile road stretched through a big pure darkness, pure darkness of woods, woods and like trees and just there's a lake by there so the whole thing that goes on with the clinton road is that there is a supposedly as you drive down the road there will be a like a a light will follow you like a big like a truck light will follow you and supposedly it's because a little boy got hit by a car a while ago because he was picking up a quarter on a bridge so and there's a whole legend that goes that if you throw the quarter over the bridge that the quarter will get thrown back at you or the quarter, you can hear the quarter drop twice. And I don't know if I told y'all the story what I was doing, but there was a story about a, a bunch of kids, a bunch of teenagers that was um doing the shit, whatever. They was, they was like, you know, they was out there like exploring, adventuring, and they left one of their friends on the bridge to like, as like a prank, like as a dare. Like, right, you stay. Yeah, he stayed there and they went back to like the high, they went to the highway and back and they came back and he was dead. Oh. He was dead. He disappeared. Nah, he didn't disappear. He died. So, so if y'all don't know, if y'all don't see our stories the last couple of days, we was out there for Yeah, we, we folded Fritz, bro. What? We folded we left Fritz by himself. I know. We we could have he could have been he could have <laughs> hey, been at there. Yo, niggas folded Fritz, we, bro. We, we ain't gonna we don't we ain't gonna say much. You know what I'm saying? Just we know, not just we, know we folded, bro. Yeah. <laughs> just know we we ain't gonna say much. Beep the name out. We folded beep. Yeah. Nah, not even that. We just not even, we not even gonna talk about it. We gonna let y'all watch it. There's new content coming soon. Dropping on Halloween, so stay tuned for that if you want to watch it. Bro. Stay, stay spooky. spooky. We got a lot of new content, a lot of IRL content. But that shit, that shit, you know, you were scared. Keep the buck. I was scared. I'm not gonna lie. I was scared. Going I was trying there. to act like I wasn't scared, but as we got on the road, that, I was scared. That my stomach. I was like, hold on, bro. We tripping, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie. Like this shit. Like this shit's real life now. Like yeah. we, like we talk about all this. Would you rather go shit? We can do all this shit that and third, but when you in that situation, was, like, it, damn, this shit, like, this is not no and it haunted was, house. And there was no money on the line. <laughs> there was no money on the line. Free, free ninety nine of dumb shit. But yeah, tune into that and uh, uh, October thirty first, seven p.m. Eastern Standard Time. New content, IRL content. We also got more content shooting soon and things like that. But after we did that, right, I started d- diving in onto other creepy shit that's been going around in the world and in the shit, and I've came across a video story i heard about this a while ago like a year ago but i never talked about it on this podcast so did you you know so have you ever heard of the the lost vhs files that was yeah. found on the road uh-huh you heard about that yeah i don't know much about it but i heard about it though. so basically there was a family that was driving in a road somewhere i forgot where they were but they was driving down the road on vacation and i guess they got lost mm-hmm. so they went to go find a payphone to like you know call people just to see for directions and shit like that and they came across a jacket 
And in that jacket was a VHS tape, like, you know, the old VHS tapes. Mm-hmm. So when they looked at the VHS tape, it was a burning building. And it was a guy in the background laughing. He was like, he was like, ha ah. he's like, this is for Oswald. And he's like, it's mad creepy. Like, I got the video right here. I don't know if you what, you've seen this shit before. Oh, nigga got a video. Yeah, I got the video of that shit right here, bro. That shit creeped me the fuck out. I might put, I'm going to post the video for the people that's watching on the shit, on the, um, on the, uh, in the, either in the comments or I might put it for the video. But hold on, let me show Corey the shit. See this one? Hey, we just locked this shit. I see. You see me peep that? Yeah. Look. Look at the dab. Wait. Let me put the. Here, watch that. Spike TV, of course. You s- nigga sound horny. <laughs> <laughs> you hear, cuz, bro? Sound like he. He, he, he sound like Joker, bro. He sound like he like he he doing chants like. Yes, bro. Like he about to do a spell on the nigga. Like imagine you find a VHS tape and you hear that you see that shit, cuz. Sure, four minutes long. Yeah, but nah, it was just an explanation though. Uh, Let me see. No evidence, no nothing. So, so apparently. What when they found that Damn <laughs> that shit was wild. I'm sorry, yo. So apparently when they found that video, right, it opened up a whole case because they figured out because a lot of fires been happening randomly. So they found they point they pinpointed to like a group of people that were arsonists. You know who arsonists are? Yeah, people that burn down shit. I didn't know I didn't I didn't know like the proper term, but so they they was all arsonists, right? Like they enjoy watching shit burn down. And once they figured out who they were, the cops found more VHS tapes of different, like, times where they did the same shit again. Uh-huh. Like, it was like, I think they burnt down, like, a, it would be, like, a big-ass tree or, like, a little-ass building, maybe, like, a little building for, like, a school. And it was the same thing, them laughing about it. And I think they said that they tried to, like, uh, interrogate them, but, like, they would just, they're not mentally right in the head. Like, yeah. niggas, they was dressing up like werewolves and vampires and just, like, like burning down buildings and shit like that. And I was like, nah, that was when I seen that, I thought it was like some what I thought it was, I thought it was like that nigga murdered people and burnt down the evidence. Oh. That's what I thought it was. Uh-huh. Until I dove deep to realize what it was. Like actually like what happened. Just imagine like I thought it was like a serial killer on a loose and he was trying to burn down the evidence, but he's like laughing as the building's on fire. But that shit kind of creeped me the fuck out. Like just imagine you that'd go be, that'd be a better story. Nigga should have ran with that. Nigga should have ran with that. Instead of the cops like finding it, yeah, I don't know, bro. It's just a, it's just a, I don't know, like the paranormal. Like, like I said, I believe in it, but nothing really happened to me, for oh, me yeah. to see, like to. I just believe it's true, like yeah, that's what I'm saying. I believe it's true, but I never really seen it like firsthand. That's why I won't. That's why I don't watch the Conjuring, the the Nun, all that stupid paranormal activity. Cause I know that shit's based on real events. And you get scared, nigga. If it can, I, why would I want to watch some shit that could really happen? But I mean, like. Have you ever you know, like you never watched that at all? The Conjuring. I watched the first paranormal acti- paranormal activity, and then after that, I was like, like yeah. I ain't gonna lie, paranormal paranormal activity was only scary because we was kids, low key. Like that shit not even nah, that bad. I watched it. I watched it when I was a, when I was a man, bro. And you were scared. Yep. I mean, like, yeah. I, I don't fuck with them. I only fuck with like the slashers, like Jason. But that could. I mean, that can happen too. But like, nah. That could happen. Like that's a, that's more likely to happen than like a ghost. Yeah, but he'll be a. He won't be a. a like he'll be a regular nigga that's just a slasher. He won't be a super nigga that's a slasher. You never know. He might be six eight. I mean, yeah, but he's still gonna be regular. He's gonna be a man, bro. Like, oh, like you know, he he's gonna, not gonna be like yeah, a ghost that can possess your yeah, mind. Yeah, he ain't gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm a, I can kill you, and then you're gonna get up and just still slice my head off. Ah, uh, or I can outrun you. You're gonna teleport in front of me. Like, ah, uh, I get you. I get you. Like a ghost. Like I feel like if a ghost is real, what am I? What am I doing to fight a ghost, bro? If a ghost right? come through your window right now and possess me, what are you doing, bro? And I decided to fuck up everything in the house. Did you pray today? I, I prayed today. Did, nah, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. What'd you say? Did you ever see, you never seen that shit? What? When the nigga be like, did you pray today? Nah, I didn't see that. You never seen Turbulence? Like the shit when niggas be like. Yeah, he said, did you pray today? And he starts smacking the did shit. You, nah, he starts hitting the shit on the table. He's like, I'm gonna dig you down on some gangster shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, hey, bro! I ain't see that shit. Yeah, I'll show you. That shit's crazy. He banged that shit on a on a on a on a plastic table. That shit's shaking, bro. What did he bang? 
It hit different, bro. <laughs> it hit different when shit shouldn't be explained. Where did he bang, bro? He banged brim, bro. Go shake that ass for Drake. Go shake that ass <laughs> but, for me. But yeah, so ghost, like, do you think all that possession shit is possible? I, yeah, I think so too. <laughs> like, just a ma- I think we know a nigga that got possessed. Who? <laughs> Wait, like from Don? <laughs> oh, nah, that nigga. He, <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> yes, bro. He, bro. Free my niggas from his mind, bro. It wasn't him, bro. Yeah, we know it wasn't him. <laughs> God damn it, bro. You know it wasn't him. He just had that bad weed, bro. Everybody got that no, bad. But bro, had, Lamar had that bad weed. Yeah, yeah. He, he just had too much of that and shit. And he's st- he still possessed. Oh yeah, I know he that that shit did not take a hold. He, he did not let go, let free of that shit. Mm-mm, Even with all that God in his in his life. Nah, bro, it's not really God. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, bro, I don't know. I just think like all that possession. Like I think it, I think it's real. Like if that shit ever happened, I want to know what I want to know what to do. That's what I'm saying, like, what can you do? Like the only like like you want to call Ghostbusters? Like there's nothing you can do. We are Ghostbusters, but like I, I feel like like I wouldn't I wouldn't leave I wouldn't leave niggas though. <laughs> I wouldn't leave niggas. What you mean wouldn't leave niggas? Like, like if like God forbid some shit happened, like when we if we was out there, I was doing oh some yeah, adventures. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, leave, I wouldn't, I wouldn't leave in that situation. But I promise you right now, Darius, if you turn into whatever you start tweaking right now, I'm leaving, bro. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I go out. I'm like, all right, D, I'm out, bro. <laughs> you start tweaking right now, yeah. I'm out, bro. I ain't gonna lie, like your ghost gonna have to lock me in here because I'm not, I'm not saving you, bro. Mm. That's not that's but, not a ghost though. That gotta be like a demon. A demon, all right, babe. The demons start rocking your shit. I'm out, bro. Pause. <laughs> hey yo, <laughs> this is crazy. But like, I don't know. Like, you never seen none of the Conjuring. But like, there's a lot of Conjuring films that show foot. Like, I remember real life footage. Yeah, shit was wild. And you want, and you tell me, I want to watch that shit, bro. It's a movie, bro. You gotta lock in, bro. You got you gotta be prepared, prepared for anything, bro. I'm telling you, like I'm how not you think fi- it, how I'm you not think fighting that, that back, bro. If a ghost want, if a ghost, if a demon want to fuck with me, bro, you have all means. How do you think the nigga feels in his mind? Like, what do you think is going on? I feel on? like he's like, I feel like he's there, but he's not like he's me? not in control. Yeah, so I put like, I probably got I gotta suck, bro. I feel like I don't think he's. I feel like he's not there. I feel like he's like in a whole nother realm fighting the demon. That's not. I'm, no, but I feel like he can. I feel like he's not there. Like. So he he's, he's like a, he could see everything. Yeah, he can see everything. Like he know like like he like in his head like in his power wants to like stop whatever's going on. But like yeah. he's like yo, I'm like yo, bro, I'm tweaking right now. Nah, nah, I think he's like like you ever watch you ever you remember that episode of SpongeBob where them niggas went like when that nigga Squidward was going back in time into the future and he just stopped in a role that was, that was all white. Yeah, I'm just thinking that, but like imagine that shit's like all white and then there's a demon there. He's just like fighting the demon, like trying to get that nigga out of his head. Like um, like you remember. During uh, Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange and shit like that, like it's like that, like he don't see, he don't know what's going on, but the demon's winning, like the demon's like putting him in a whole new he's reality and shit. Up. Yeah, he's fucking him up. He doesn't even know about it. Yeah, I hope uh, I'd rather just see what's going on. Like, there's get, so many like the extra, demon just fuck me up. That shit's crazy, bro. Like, I'd rather I, just see like, yo, let me see what you're doing in here. Bro. Like all like those people that was doing it, like doing all exorcism, like they was real people. Like they that's their job, like going around trying to save people from the like, yeah, demons. You want me to watch that, bro? Nigga, if you go, if a what's gr- our next trip, bro? Huh? We going to, we going to see some demon shit next trip, bro? Hey, tune in, and you'll figure it out. Type shit. I can't give out. I can't give out the sauce. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna t- I'm gonna let niggas know beforehand. I ain't gonna hold niggas like that. I feel bad. I oh, did you, feel you bad. Ain't hold me, nigga. I knew I was getting myself in. <laughs> I did my homework. Hey, bro, just know. You said if my girl got possessed, it's not my girl no more, bro. Oh, if your girl got possessed, That's about to no. Ask I was gonna say like, no. I was gonna say like, if a baddie wanted to watch the Conjuring, you gonna watch the Conjuring? Oh yeah, of course. Look. Nigga is gonna close his eyes. <laughs> I I don't even go lie. I'm 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 niggas. I close my eyes like Jay Jay make fun of me all the time. Close my eyes. I go like this. This is my, this this is my tactic. I go like this. But I put I put one little shit like here. Mm-hmm. I go like this. The last the last scary movie I seen in the movie theaters was like, I think tenth no eleventh grade. I went to see Insidious three. I can't tell That's you a what. Great- happened. I can't tell you what happened in that movie. But. I like I ain't gonna lie. The only like scary movies that I remember remember are. The Conjuring, like that shit will forever stick with me. The Conjuring, um, Insidious, maybe the first Insidious, because that was kind of, but I don't remember it, like, wor- like everything. Oh, As Above, So Below. I never heard of that. So that one's about, you ever heard of the catacombs in um, France? You know what, the, you don't know what the catacombs are? I don't think so. So the catacombs, so in France, right? Like, I don't know, I think it might have been during the Black Plague or something like that. During some sickness, all the graveyards were like, 
filled up. So this, they decided to put to the, burn bodies, the bodies. No, they didn't burn them. They put oh. the bodies underground. Uh-huh. In the, they call them the catacombs. Yeah. Like there's like miles of tunnels underneath Paris and underneath France of like dead bodies. Still? Yeah, still. You can go and visit there. Oh. But like you can go and visit there, but there's sex. There's places that section off. Uh huh. That's like there's tunnels that you shouldn't go down because they're too dangerous because shit's like caving in. But like, but like so some people there's like a lot of satanists that go through there. People think it's haunted and shit like that. Like there's like mad other tunnels. It's just like it's like never ending. And it's like you can like they say like some people get lost in there by because like whatever's in there is like making them go in circles uh-huh. and they start going crazy like there was a guy right some people found like a footage of like like you know like a VHS tape or like a camera and like there was no person there so he picked up the camera and they seen like it was a guy that got lost down there yeah and he's like he's like trying to find his way out and he's like getting scared and shit like that and then he just suddenly just like drops the camera and then he just walks off like he just drops it and walks off and then you see something walk behind him like like a little figure walk behind them, and they don't know. Then they, they never found the nigga again. And then they found another thing that they found in the catacombs was a movie theater, right? So they the I guess the cops got a concern because they think somebody went to like one of the back rooms or whatever. So they went back there. They found a, they found a whole little movie set. Like they put like a little uh, projector. With the dead niggas? No, yeah. Uh, it's like there's like like the dead niggas. There's probably I think there's like I don't know how many. There's a lot though. There's a lot of people down there. But it's like a certain section where it's like a little museum and you can like see the bones is like piled up. But like there's certain parts where there's no dead niggas, but it's just tunnels. So like they went into one tunnel and you can go there by yourself. Like you can just go there. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you can go there. Dolo. It's like a, it's like an attraction. Like for like, it's like, it's like an actual like, like attraction where people go to. So there was, um, there was a, there was a cut that I guess the cop, you know, the security guards make sure they go through, make sure there's no way back here, not getting hurt or whatever. So I guess they go, they went back there and they found like an actual like movie theater set up. Like they had like, they was like, uh, they dug in like the walls and they made like little like uh, bleachers or whatever, like out of the stones or whatever. And they had like chairs. They had like a projector. They had like the backdrop. Mm-hmm. And they went to, they, they, there was nobody there though. And they left because they had to report it. They came back the next day. It was gone. It was all gone. But there was a note that said, you might, you almost found us, but you're never going to find us. Don't know who it was. It could have been criminals. It could have been homeless people. It could have been Satanists, whatever. But they just left a note saying you almost like some something like you almost got us or uh, you can never find us, some shit like that. It's just crazy now. Why would niggas want to go down there, bro? Because you know it's a lot of a lot of like homeless niggas don't got cribs. Might as well oh, live. But like with the dead niggas. Yeah, it's it's wild. Niggas, niggas. When you when you down low, you go get down low. But the so the movie right. Pause. That was wild. That was crazy. Oh my god! I'm you, sorry. You get down low by yourself, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so the movie, right? So the movie is basically it's it's made out of like it's like it's not like a it's made like it's like point of view. So it's like the whole movie is like if somebody's holding the camera. Yeah. Like uh, you ever watch? You ever heard of Blair Witch Project? Mm-hmm. It's like that. So it's basically an archaeologist, and she's not really finding anything. She's trying to prove a point of like. I can, since I'm a woman, I could do this. Something mm. like that. Is this the Catacombs movie? This is the Catacombs movie. It's, it's called As Above, So Below. I will never forget that. I watched it maybe like once or twice. I think I watched it with Jay uh, a, a couple times or once. And so they, she goes down there with the crew. It's like four, it's like three or four of them. And I guess like a black, one of the dudes gets hurt. Like he falls down the shit because they're in the catacombs. But like I said, there's different areas to go. Like it goes down. Yeah. And like they went down, like they found like an opening and they call it like the, like the gateway to hell or some shit like that. And it's like a, like a big ass hole in the floor. And it's like a, like a 200, like a, maybe like a 200 foot drop down or whatever like that. Like a hundred meter drop down to the bottom and they're going down in ropes. But uh, the black dude falls, breaks his leg. He can't get up. They can't help him. And now they're trapped down there because, like, they can't help this nigga out. And they're not supposed to be down there. Or they're going to get arrested. Yeah. So they're trying to figure out ways. They leave and they let him le- leave him back there. He's gone. They, they're they walking around the entire catacombs, walking through. They see, like, a ritual. Like, people in black robes, like, hoodied up. Like, hands holding uh, candles everywhere. And they're like, what the fuck going on? They got the film on them. The niggas turn around. Like, niggas turn around mad quick. At the same time, they dip. And then, then you just hear, like, footsteps crawling. And the whole movie was basically, like, there was, like, there wasn't really ghosts, but it was, like, the whole uh, cave system was, like, possessed. Uh And it was, like, it makes you face your biggest regret in your life. 
right? And if you can't face that regret, then you die. So one of the guys died because his regret was that he killed somebody in a car accident and left yeah. them there to die. Like, or I think he was in a car accident, caught on fire. He didn't save the person next to him. Yeah. And it, it popped up like a car pop. Like he said, I see, he seen the car that he was in, like the same exact car that he was driving. He was like, what the fuck? And he was like, and he was mad confused. That shit sparked on fire. And then the person that was in there was the, was the girl like he was supposed to save. He's like, Oh, I'm sorry. This is not third. He's like, and then he's like, he's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for this shit. Nigga grabbed him. The shit imploded, bro. Nigga gone. So like they're literally just going out throughout the thing. So how do you like face your regret though? I I just think I don't I it depends. I don't think he said like sorry about it. It was just it was a lot of weird shit. I don't, I think she didn't face it, but she found like she got away from it. Uh -huh. So like they like at the end of the movie, it's like I think it's like two people left or whatever, and they thought they was about to die until they found like an opening. I think it was like two three people left. They found an opening, and it was like a it was like a manhole, but it was like say the hole is right here. They jump in the hole and it's like flipped upside down. So it's like you're going up. Uh -huh. So they got out of there alive. But that was that 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 did, I don't think it happened. That actually happened. It was like a based on a true story. But that's like how the movie was made. But there was actually like like the shit I told you before with all that shit. That shit actually did happen in the catacombs, bro. You see, that nigga's always talking about going somewhere. Yeah, I bet you if we was in Paris, you'd be like, yo, let's go to the catacombs. No, 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 no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do nothing that crazy, y'all. Yeah, have you have you ever played the? Uh, that, that just reminded me. You ever played the game Outcast on, on, on PS4 first drop? Oh, it, that rings a bell. It's like it was like a scary game that freshly dropped when PS4. It was like one of the free games when PS4 dropped. Is that the shit where like is like the hand coming out on the cover? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I remember. And then fucking like it was a new it was a news nigga mm -hmm. or a girl I forgot. I think it was a dude. It was the news. He he was like reporting on this like this abandoned hospital or something like that, and then like. He snuck in, mm -hmm. and like after like he snuck in, like it was a bunch of monsters and ghosts and spirits in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I never finished the game. I was too scared. But like, that's the, I know that's the gist of the game. Oh, so that that's what the shit remind you of? It was some shit like Cause that. Cause you, cause you, when you said he was. Recording. Oh, I do remember playing that game. He was in a hospital. Yeah, and like there was like demons or whatever ghosts, and he had like the camcorder. I think I do remember uh -huh. that game. I think I know, I do remember. all I remember about the game, I know he got his finger cut off. Yeah, early in the game, early like, and it was like you had to like hide from shit. Uh huh. Okay, I do remember that. I do remember that. I do remember that. Nah, the nah one of the one of the scary movies I remember. I watched this shit. It's called The Gallows, bro. I heard of that. The Gallows. That shit was so scary, bro. I heard of that. It was about um, it was I about heard of that. it was about uh, I guess it was a high school, and I think a boy was getting bullied and he killed himself or whatever, and he was like part of a play. And I guess, like, all the bullies were, like, le got locked in the high school because they was doing a prank or whatever. Uh -huh. And he started killing them niggas one by one. Like, the ghost was just killing niggas. And at the end, it was, like, I think because the boy, like, he, how he killed himself, he hung himself in the gym. Yeah. That's, that, okay, that's what, that's what happened. He hung himself in the auditorium, and everybody was just, like, shocked, whatever. And some kids, like, they wanted to, like, be, like, daredevils or whatever. They wanted to, like, let's, let's go to school after dark type yeah. shit. So he went after dark and they didn't like they didn't believe it. I think it was like a like it didn't like it wasn't one of their classmates. It was like a while back. So they didn't really believe in it. So they started disrespecting the nigga, uh -huh. doing hella crazy shit, this, that, and the third. So then niggas just started like they he started killing niggas. Like the ghost was like dropping shit on them, dropping like the freaking things on them. And then the last nigga, or it was the last nigga, the last girl, she was about to leave. He fucking you just see like the shadow and like the the rope of like the hanging shit. Uh -huh. And it goes to her Like she's about to leave Like right when she gets the door Gets her neck and Hung her Hung her just the way he did Just the same way he died bro Damn she Yeah thought, She thought she got out She thought she got out Lily died just like that Like I, I, I ain't gonna lie Like I never Like I watched I watched a lot of scary movies Because we used to watch it Like with my family Like my Filipino side Because they like They like see my reactions Because I, I used to be scared Like screaming all the time uh -huh. And I remember I think I watched one movie A scary movie it was called, You ever watch It Follows Like it was a, It was a, this, It's funny it's not really, it's a, so basically the whole gist of it is like, it's a movie, it's a scary movie based on STDs, right? It's crazy. Uh -huh. So it's like, so say it's called, so basically, right? There's something following you to, and it's going to, once it catches up to you, it's going to kill you. Yeah. But it like, it takes form as like different people. Like it's not like a ghost. It looks like people, but you just, you know, it's what it is because it has no face. It's just walking. Just walking towards you, but it might look like it looks like a real, a real person, 
And then until it gets right close to you, then it becomes like a demon or whatever. But the only way to get rid of it is to have sex with another person. Yes. So if I get it, I gotta like You have to have sex with a girl else and, and then, then they will get it now. So the so basically how the whole movie starts is like a, a boy had it. Like he was talking to this girl, or whatever. I think he took a virginity, or whatever. And like after he took a virginity, he he goes to her and went and he left. And yeah. she was mad confused. She's like, what the fuck? And then she starts seeing like people like walking towards her, like doing shit like and it's like it's not like it's not like he touched you like she's he's gonna kill you like the lady might have like a bat or something like an axe or some shit uh-huh. just about to kill her and it's, it always it only walks it doesn't run so that's only that's how you know it's like it's there like she was she was like in a like a at a fair or whatever yeah and she was like she just was like she was just seeing this one girl just like walking like this just mad slow just walking and like she didn't like, and her eyes were locked onto her. So she's like, "Oh nah, this is that shit." So she kept she kept running, running. And I think like literally the only way like she had to like convince like a nigga to have sex with her, just trick a nigga. Damn. And then and hey, it, it follows. Probably, probably easy for it's easy for a girl to get rid of it. Yeah, this yeah. it's just the niggas, bro. I think it was like a it was like a dork nigga too or some shit. So wait, so let's say like if it kills you, then what? I guess the I think the curse is like lifted up. So I got so somebody got to be sacrificed. Yeah, somebody got to be a sacrifice, bro. Which is crazy. It, it follows. It follows. Yeah, I might watch that. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty good. That it's one. I think you like that one. It's 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 similar to Smile, similar to that uh-huh. Smile movie, similar to that, but more like a STD. Smile was kind of crazy. I watched that shit, shit in theaters too. That shit was kind of scary. Just I might watch that shit. It follows. I yeah. might watch that shit. Yeah, I think you like it. It's one of. I think it was ranked one of the top scariest movies in like the. Of all time, not scary, but like, I'm to say. like, 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 shit, then. like, like, best, like, okay. I, like, I guess the concept of it was pretty okay. good. I'm about to say, I'm not watching that shit. It was yeah. just scary as hell. No. Yeah, nah, it wasn't that. I mean, it was, it was scary, but it wasn't like, too, it was like, it was like, it quite like, like slasher film scary. It was, it was like that. But did anybody, did, did the person die eventually? Like I that. think, I think she, she passed, she passed on the last second, like last second cheese. Oh, like, uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like she, like she, like some shit like that. Something like that, I but think. If she passed, or you know what? I think she figured out a way to finesse it. I can't remember. Uh, like she, I think she finessed the last minute. I can't remember what happened though. Come on, say even if if it passed last second, that means she's just she's he, nigga still right there. He just killed the nigga. Yeah, I, I don't. I can't remember. I gotta I gotta watch it again. But I I'm that's what I, I know. That was like the the gist of it. I'm gonna watch but, it now. Yeah, let me know how you like it though. But do you have a pause? Damn, I'm two for two. <laughs> nigga, ask me how I like it, bro. Hey, hey man. put pause in the comments if you made it this far, bro. Put pause, pause. But do you guys don't you guys scary story to tell I us, do. bro? And you feel me? I do got a scary story, and I, I might fold, but fuck it, let's. Tell hey, it. just hey, just tell it, brother. All right, I'm so ready. This shit is called the Smiling Man, right? Yeah. Let me burp. Let me drink my juice. Bro. Yeah, go ahead and then say what the story name is called again before you burp, bro. Or after you burp. Oh, wait, before the burp? No, after you. Burp. Smiling Man. I, no, I after burp. yeah, I after burp, burp. Bro. So what is the story called? It's called the Smiling Man, right? So the story starts with, and I know some of y'all. I remember I told the Teke Teke story. Some of y'all was in the comments like, "Oh no, this is is obviously different variations of the story." And obviously, I I don't I ain't gonna get it right every time. So get off the. Let me stop. Yeah, <laughs> but it's called the Smiling Man, right? So this one dude. It starts with this one dude. He lives in this quiet neighborhood, and he can't sleep. He has trouble sleeping for like the last couple of weeks, I think. And he like takes late night walks. He got like insomnia. Yeah, he got like insomnia. He can't sleep, so he takes late night walks. And one night he's taking his walk. Like there's nobody. Like it's a it's a dead it's a dead night. Mm-hmm. And he he's walking and he sees this one dude like just dancing, dancing. He just assumed like all right, this this nigga drunk. Yeah. And yeah. like I said, it's a dead road though, so there's nobody in sight. It's just like and it's late at night, like it's 3 late at night, like four, yeah, like three a.m., four a.m. And he's just this dude's just dancing, just dancing, just dancing. And then so the the dude gets closer, and he's like, like he said, he's he seeing from afar and just think, oh, this dude's drunk. This dude tweaking. And then like he's 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 dancing, and he, as he get closer, he realizes the dude's looking in the sky. And he's smiling from like ear to ear, like from like the, like the, the smile movie smiles, like yeah, creepy smiles, yeah, from from ear to ear. And like he's like, oh, like he's like he's looking in the sky, like why is he looking in the sky? He's looking up, and he as he gets closer, he realizes it's not a drunk man because he's like the dude is waltzing. If you know what a waltz is, it's like a it's like a, a fancy fan- da- a fancy dance. He's waltzing, and he's like uh, he's he's moving too elegant to for it to be he to be drunk. So he just crosses the street. And he crosses the street 
to get away from the dude. And as he's walking, he walks parallel to the dude. And the dude's the smiling man stops dancing. And he's looking at him. He's like it's parallel to him, looking at him from across the street. And but he's looking up though with the smile. But he's he's looking at him, but like he's, like his head is tilted his head, up. His, his head is tilted up. He's like in his looking, he's looking in his direction. So the dude peep him. And every time and every time the dude start walking, the dude steps in the street and he'll turn around and he'll like step back on the sidewalk. And then he'll walk and like he'll step in the street to like cross the street with him. And then the dude will turn around and he'll step back in the sidewalk. So after a while, like the dude just kept walking and he disappeared. So the dude thought like I like I like he the dude's gone. Yeah. So the dude keeps walking, he keeps walking, and he keeps realizing like he's walking and he see like the dude is hiding behind a car. Oh, so like he's following he's him? He's following him. And he's hiding, he's ducking behind the car. And he's like, he looks back and he like he'll duck behind the car. And then he look and then he finally looks back and he like, like he's seen him. And the man, the smiling man, gets up and like with like hands up, like, ah, you caught me. And like, but he's still like smiling and looking at the sky. He's talked or he just he like doesn't, he doesn't talk. He just like puts the hands up, like, oh, you caught me. Yeah. And so now like the dude went to went to say, like, what are you doing? Like he meant to like sound aggressive. But he sounded the what came out was fear, yeah. So he meant to be like, "Yo, why the f you following me?" But he, instead, he was like, "Why are you following me?" Like it was like he, yeah, instead yeah. of instead of being aggressive, it was fearful. So now the dude starts dancing again, like waltzing again, and he's coming closer, and the man is stuck. And like I said, the, the, he as the man's getting closer, he like he stops, and he walk. He's he's waltzing, he stops, and then he 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 walks away. The smiling man walks away. So the man think he dodges the bullet. He's like, whew, like he feel me. Like starts, he was waltzing closer to him. Yeah, waltzing closer to him, and then he just starts walking away. Yeah. So the man now the man's like, feel me like a sigh of relief, like ah, like, damn, I dodged a bullet, like that. He's tweaking. So the man starts walking away, and then the smiling man starts sprinting towards him with all of his like full sprint towards him. So now the man starts running too, and then the smiling man catches up to him and comes this close to his face and smiles at him. And walks away. Wait, nah, what the fuck? So he did all that to scare the nigga? They don't they, they don't know the story. And then like I, I I was looking up, looking it up, and it was different variations of stories where the dude was smiling through his window at after that. Like he came to the nigga crib yeah. and was smiling through his window. And it, it's crazy. One of the uh one of the sightings of the smiling man is in is Elizabeth, New Jersey. That's one of the sightings of the smiling man. And it's a new it's he is around. No, here? so the the origin of the story. Is in, is in Ohio, but there are sightings of him in Elizabeth. Oh, nah, bruh. Oh, nah. I'm thinking then, this shit in another country, cuz. Nah, the origin of the story is in Ohio, but there's a, there were sightings of the smiling man in, in Elizabeth? Elizabeth. And what you call it, um, and there's like different sightings. It's like he break into niggas' houses, but he, he like they don't know what he on, though. Cause he, he he ain't never do nothing yet. He just is deemed as dangerous because they don't know what he on. And his smile is not like a it's like a like a demonic smile. Like like, a, like he possessed. Yeah, like he possessed. Like it's not like he's he's not drunk. Like an evil not, looking drunk. smile. Yes, it's like the, oh no, nah, that shit gave the, me the, the chills. The, I ain't gonna lie. The that it smile like the I don't like that. You know? That shit gave like me the no- purge smile. Like it's like it's very like. It's it's like like it's, the like that like the smile movie. Yeah, it's oh, like oh nah, bro. I'm not gonna lie, that shit was scared the fuck out. So of me. he's considered dangerous because they don't they, and they don't know nothing about him. They don't know what he's on. They don't know like the name of the guy. Is it the same guy everywhere, or is it or was it like uh, niggas get possessed? I think it was a the I think it was a different guy every time. Oh, but, but it's it was like the same, way. The, the same the same, same type of. And he was a he was a nice dress like he was a, he was dressed in a suit he was a nice dressed man like like I said and the dance moves was too elegant for it to be like a drunk man nah that shit was scared the fuck out of me cause and his sight is every in every sight is the same is the same story like the the dude is waltzing he's looking in the sky and he just full sprints imagine a nigga full, full sprint. sprint like full like linebacker coming at you I ain't gonna lie bro like I would run but like now you told me a story you just yo I I tell you bro nah I don't want this shit. But you don't know that. You That's what I'm you saying. Don't, you don't know at the time. You don't know what he on. You feel me? So especially you already terrified. Like yeah, because yo, I tell you, I'm a weird. And nigga. you walk into your crib too. Yeah, nah, I'm a weird nigga, bro. Like if shit, like shit, like I always say, if like I don't know if it will ever happen, but I tell myself like 
if shit about to go left, you gotta be prepared for this shit, bro. You gotta prepare to die. You gotta prepare to fuck mm-hmm. like fuck that nigga up, and that nigga start running not, at me. He's not an like he's not an intimidated man though. Like, but he looks he, like, but, but like he, just, he, he just he just look creepy. Like, yeah, but, I don't like that creepy. But shit, he don't bro. look like he, he, he's not. He don't like to beat you in a fight, but you just don't know he on. Oh nah, because he don't he don't look like he on drugs. He don't look like he drunk. He just look like he possessed. Like yeah, nah, like that's I said, creepy. And he, and he looking in the sky, but it's, it's, it's elegant though. Like he not. He's smooth with it. You feel me? Loki, Loki got the moves. You feel me? Nah, that's creepy, bro. Like, if I didn't know, bro, I'm thinking this shit in like Russia nah, or like bro. Europe. It was sightings in bro. Elizabeth, New Jersey, bro. Nah, that's OD. Of- that's OD. I ain't gonna lie. Cause like I don't know if you ever heard there was a there was a there's a there was a thing going around a couple months ago. It was called like the Dancing Lady. Nah, I it was like in it. like Czech Czech Republic or Czech Slovakia or uh-huh. like in like Russia in that area up there and like a. Uh, in the in Europe, yeah, and like there's footages of like a like like you said like there's a lady just dancing in the street, just dancing like this, just normally, and like people say like the the myth the legend of it goes is like if she looks at you she will kill you, yeah, and it's like if you ever see the dancing lady that means you're like, like it's your time, uh-huh. like it's your time to die you're about to die like she looks like she's she's gonna kill you, yeah. and it's like every time like there was footage of this shit like hold on let me see if I can look this shit up, bro. That shit, this I don't even want to look. That should give me chills, bro. I ain't yeah, gonna lie to you. Don't let her look at you through the camera. Yeah, no. Nah, should I uh, should I put this shit up? No, nah, I ain't. Gonna, I don't want to put this up. I'll show you later. <laughs> that shit, that shit scares the fuck out of me. Like it, it's like she just danced like this, like just like hands out, but like twirling, and like there's videos of it, and they're like, but I don't, but like people might be like. Like faking it, whatever. Uh-huh. It's and a short film on, the, on the, you should watch the short film on the, on the on the smiling man. It's a short film on YouTube, and they project it perfectly. That's crazy, bro. Now that just sounds scary as shit, bro. That scares like, me. Like imagine I'm walking Bishop at night and I see a nigga just dancing, bro. What would you do? You gotta let Bishop on that nigga. Oh, once he start once he start running, I'm off the leash, bro. Bishop, go get him. Nah, because if he kill Bishop, I'm gonna be sick, bro. You gotta get back, get back, game, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. Get if back, game, no setback, game. Nigga, kill that if nigga. If you kill Bishop, I'm gonna be sick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he run up, Bishop run up on him, just snap his neck real like, fast. Right. I'm be like, oh, I'm like what the fuck? This is the type of time we on? I'm like, yo, you got me. <laughs> shit's crazy, bro. Nah, Bishop better be his old ass better be prepared to run. Hey, bro, that shit's wild. I, that's scary, yo. This is some good Halloween shit, but that's just scared though. That's scary, bro. Damn, the, the bro. smiling man, but yo, just know he in Jersey, bro. That's wild, cause he, he nah, that's Jersey, so wild. Bro. But nah, let, 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 let's lighten up the mood. I'm, I got, I'm actually kind of scared. Like I ain't gonna lie, that's, <laughs> like I, like I'm thinking like if I, like if niggas leave, I see that nigga outside my crib, <laughs> calling the cops immediately. Off rip, I'm calling the cops. But though the cops don't know nothing, like they don't know nothing. They, I don't he, care. He I just, want them to go away. I'm just saying, he's it's a sighting, bro. So once you call the cops, he's gone, bro. They don't know nothing. They don't know his origin. They don't know where he came from. They don't know nothing about this man, bro. Shit, crazy, bro. But all right, I got, I got something we could do, bro. I haven't done this in a couple episodes. Can you name the top 10 candies of all time candy. since we are in the spooky season? Top 10 candies of all time. Top 10 candies of all time. Like yep. Pacific or brands? like Brands. So like so. like chocolate, candy, anything oh, candy. Oh, so not like Skittles. No, no, no. no yeah, yeah. Like Skittles is, is okay. like that's, that's, a cool, that's, that's candy. Whatever you consider candy, like the so, top 10 of all time. Skittles. You said Skittles? Skittles is number 10. Number 10? It's yeah. gonna be a long list. It's gonna be a long day. Hershey's. Oh, hold on. Let me let me put this. Let me make sure. You said Hershey's. Mm-hmm. Anything specific or just Hershey's? Hershey's Kiss. Uh, let me check. Uh, no her no Hershey's anything on this list. No Hershey's anything. It's no. gonna be a long list. But no. M and M's. M and M's. No M and M's on this list. Oh my God. Snickers. Snickers is number three. Damn, number three? Yeah. Twizzlers. Twizzlers is not on the list. Not on the list? Mm-hmm. Um, Airheads. Airheads is not on the list. Yo. Yeah. Uh, Twix. Twix is number eight. Twix is o- number eight. Over what you call it? Over what I just said? Skittles. That's crazy. Twix is number eight. Kit Kat. Kit Kat's number nine. Over Skittles? Hey, man. A lot, a lot of niggas like Reese's. Reese's. Reese's Cups number one. No way. Who eats those? I like Reese's Cups. No way. Who now, eats? Reese's Cups are very... Niggas love peanut butter and chocolate. I ain't Who's gonna lie. Who's eating? No, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like them. 
I don't love him, but I, I fuck with Reese's Cups. I fuck with Reese's Cups. Milk- I, I grow, I, I grown to love him, like him. Milky Way. Nah, no Milky Way, no Milky Butterfinger. Way. Butterfinger. Butterfinger is number six. Who is eating Butterfinger? <laughs> <laughs> Who was who was keeping Butterfingers in business, bro? I need to find out, bro. Who was eating Butterfingers? I know fingers, whoever's bro. keeping Butterfingers in business, you should you should be our fans. <laughs> we love Word. Butterfingers too. Yeah, facts. What's up, yo? What's up? Like type shit sponsors. Almond Joy. Oh, niggas just going down the dasty. No, hell. I wasn't no. to say that was on the list, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm about to I'm about to tweak. Bro. <laughs> nah, hell I'm about no. to tweak out. Hell no. Yorkies. I know a lot of people like those, but I think they're nasty. Yorkies, Yorkies is number five. Who was eating Yorkies, bro? Y'all niggas is nasty. Bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Yorkie. Yor- when I seen peppermint patties, I was like, that's gross. That's like, I'm saying, who want chocolate? Chocolate you know, toothpaste, nigga. You know, it might be a lot of like like the older generation. That's nasty. This, this list was made in like 2021. Like twenty. That's nasty work, bro. I'm so about to say, uh, what's that shit? Uh, the old people be sucking on. Pause. Hey yo. What peppermints? <laughs> hey yo, and the caramel shit. Oh no, nah, no, no, not the caramel drops. Oh. You're missing. You're missing two, four, and seven. Two, four, and seven. You told me I didn't get number two yet. Yeah, nah. You're missing. You're missing a pretty, pretty popular candy. A popular candy. Yeah. Is it the the gummy bear shit? The uh, the um, who's calling you? UJ. <laughs> oh, well, we'll answer afterwards. <laughs> um, what's that shit called? The uh, Hero Hero Showa and the gummy bear brand. Gummy bears is number seven. This is the brand I'm talking about. Or you no, just, it was just gummy bears in general. Oh, gummy. Okay, so you're missing two and four. Gummy two bears. is a very gummy two, worms. Nah. Oh. So two is a very known candy And it's not chocolate And four is like a repeat of something But it's like a different variation Something I already said Something you already said But it's like a different variation of Oreos it. That's not candy right? Nah, that's nah, that's cookies. cookies now Something Two says not chocolate No, like bo- One's chocolate And one's not chocolate But the one that It's like It's a different ver- Like four is a different variation yep. Of something Three Musketeers? No oh. Just think of candy And think of chocolate I'm trying to think. I don't really eat too much chocolate, so nah, I know that's not it's like good. a it's like a repeat of something, but it's like a different variation of it. Repeat of something, but different variation. Like it's not what the thing. What a cup? That, no, that's a, that's a fucking soup. That's a Powerpuff girl. Huh? Yeah, that's. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> said Buttercup is crazy. Nigga oh. said Buttercup. Nah, that's not a candy. What? I'm about to say Twinkie. That's not a candy. Nah, nah, nah. You want a hint? Yeah. So number two is like a is a certain like icy flavor from um from uh what's that what's that Italian oh Rita's it's a certain icy flavor icy flavor yeah icy flavor mm-hmm. um ice what the f- like it's a flavor of the scoop yeah it's a flavor of the icy vanilla <laughs> no cherry not, no icy like icy like the candy is an icy flavor cotton candy. Nah, not cotton oh, candy. But not cotton candy. It's 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 like it's equivalent to it's in the realm of gummy bears. Why am I blinking? It's in the realm of gummy bears, like of that type of caliber of candy. I said gummy worms. So it's obviously a gummy. It's a gummy, yeah. Gummy worms. Gummy cherries? No. You're getting closer with the with the how it looks. Gummy cherries. With the color. So it's red. Gummy cherries. So number two is something that's red. Just think of something that's gummy that's red. Pause. <laughs> that's wild. Who got a red gummy? If you got a red gummy, you need to go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> what the? I, you seen me eat it before? Yeah. You seen me eat them before? Mm-hmm. It's very known. It's very known. Okay, now, like, you're, like you're just blanking right now. Swedish fish. Swedish fish is number two. Yes, sir. And number four is a variation of one of the top tens, but it's not like, it's like how, like M, there's M and there's M and M's, and then there's peanut M and M's, or there's M and M minis. It's like that. Hershey's Hershey's Kiss. No, not Hershey's Kiss. Oh. It, you're 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 in the you're in the ballpark of like what like what I'm talking about. Just think of think of all the think of like different chocolates. It says Snickers. You said Snickers? Snickers. The Snickers ice cream? No, 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 no. no. Snickers. You said Snickers, you said Butterfingers. Kit Kat. You said Kit Kat, you said Twix, and you said Reese's. Reese's. I said yeah, Reese's Cup is. You a, said Reese's Cups. Um, is it 
chocolate. Reese's oh. cup, Reese's cup. Peanut butter chocolate flavor. Reese's cup, Reese's cup. Oh, what is this chocolate? It's, it's, it's a chocolate. Yeah, it's a chocolate, but it's a different variation of something we talked about. Reese's I feel cup, like it's Reese's another mint cup. candy, isn't no, it? No, no, it's not mint. What the fuck? Reese's cup, Reese's cup. R E E S. Is that the hint? You giving me a hint right now? No, this this song is hard. What? Reese's cup, Reese's cup. I'm gonna say Peanut Snickers minis. <laughs> you get, you're getting in that area, the realm Snickers of minis. minis. Uh, min- R E E. Mini, mini, pe- mini Reese's. What's it called? Reese's Pebbles. Close. Reese's Tiny. No, it, it was we was warmer with the other one. Reese's. Started with the same letter as the the started with the starts with the P. Reese's. Reese's pot. Nope. Reese's. It rhymes. Reese's. Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. Yeah, Reese's, Reese's pieces, pieces number four, bro. Niggas love Reese's Cups, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, like, peanut butter chocolate is, like, the number one duo for, like, a lot of white people. Mm, like, especially sense. especially gym niggas that, like, lifting, they love uh-huh. peanut butter. Peanut butter and chocolate. Like, they love that shit, bro. That shit's crazy. Makes sense. Makes sense. Like, I, be, I don't know who's keeping Yorkies in business. Though. Yeah, I know. No, I, don't know, I ain't gonna lie. That shit's crazy. Even, and butterf- I never seen this. I might eat a Butterfingers in Mad Long. But I would eat a Butterfinger. Like, I wouldn't mind. I've never seen somebody eat I wouldn't. I wouldn't go out my way. Like, I wouldn't go to Quick Check and buy me a Butterfinger. But, like, if, if, I, if, like, if I went trick-or-treating and somebody gave me a Butterfinger, I'll eat it. I've never seen somebody eat a Butterfinger, bro. Never did? Never seen somebody eat a Butterfinger. i never seen nobody eat a 100 grand bar. I, have, I eat them all the time. Like like for like the like the s'mores and shit like those. No, I mean, I don't know. It's the shit's called a hundred grand. Oh, a hundred grand. Yeah, and a hundred grand, but not hundred grand. It's called a hundred grand bar. I yeah, never I'm seen. Gonna, I've seen that before. You've I've seen, seen it. I never had. It. I never had it though. I never seen. I never. I never seen a nigga eat a payday. I've seen. Wait, did you? I've seen it, I ate a payday. Yeah, before. never mind. You were the nigga that ate a payday. I look at you like that was disgusting. No, you ate. No, I didn't. Peanut chew. I ate a peanut chew. Oh yeah, that's nasty. That's not as nasty as payday, but it's still nasty. I didn't, I didn't eat a payday. I ate, a, I ate peanut. You like Jay? Lo- Jay likes peanut chews too. I'm like that shit's disgusting. That shit's good. Nah, crazy. Nah, not not peanut chews. I should have guessed crunch because I like crunch. Cr- but I know it would have been on there though. Nah, I would like I would like there was another one. Uh, what was that shit called? Whatchamacallit. That's what it's called. No, that's that. That's that's what the name of the chocolate bar is called. What you gonna call it? That's what I'm saying. That's the name of the chocolate bar. Yeah, it's called What you gonna call it. I never heard that before. Nah, if you go to Quick Check and look, they have What you gonna call it. They got What you gonna call it. They got hundred grand bars. I just never had it. I yes. might do. I might do that for the Halloween episode. Try random. Try random Halloween candies. Like what like a What you gonna call it? Like like what? I right, what's your top three choc- uh, candy bars? Candy bars. Top three candy bars. So bars that's chocolate. I like the uh the special. The special uh, dark chocolate Hershey bar is like is this it, is getting real specific. Brown, I love this shit. It's brown with a with a with a red uh, thing on the bottom. I love that shit. I put, put it in the refrigerator. Damn, can't speak. Put that shit in the refrigerator and fill me. Let it sit for like three. That's hours. your that's your most like that's your favorite chocolate of all time. Mm-hmm. Like and then my other one is the chocolate. Is it's like also brown and like purple. And it's called it's fruits and nuts in the chocolate, and I put that in the refrigerator and I eat that shit. And what's the third one? Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> you like you you like you eat this shit like a prisoner. You eat like prison chocolate. No, it's just good, bro. I have never heard the, the that. What's that second one? What's it called? I forget what it's called. It's like fruits and nuts, and then and, and the chocolate. And you, I put the chocolate in the fridge so it could get cold, and I could eat. I only could eat a cold chocolate. It's like a purple and brown. Uh, Package. Oh, I've seen this shit before. This see. this shit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cadbury? You're weird as fuck. Where do you even find this? I've seen it. This looks like the, the chocolates you buy at the at like Whole Foods. And I've seen them in um Easy Mart. The fuck? You like like nigga, you can't just say this is my top five. This is my top three. You want, you want me to say Snickers, Twix, and Hershey's. <laughs> no. Uh, my top I mean my top three is like uh, Twix. Twix. I'm not gonna. Lie. I think I like Twix more than I like uh, Snickers. Yeah, Twi- Twix is amazing. Twix. I'm gonna switch that. Twix. Reese cups and Kit Kats. I that's a respectable list. That's a respectable list. I would take um, Reese's cups out. But you would take Reese's cups out. Like, do you do you think we're too old to trick or treat? Do you think niggas is gonna judge us? What do you what do you think is a too old age? I think after 
Once you hit high school, you can't go trick or treating no more. Once you hit high school, mm-hmm. Ooh, high, well, high school. What do you mean, me? Yo, me and Chris, we, we was going, we was going trick or treating since like we went trick or treating. I think junior year of high school. Yeah, y'all lame, bro. Why? Maybe, maybe, cause maybe cause I got Halloween taken from me early. That I feel like that. Wait, why? I got t- Halloween taken from me in seventh grade because I was being bad. So my mom didn't give me a costume. But so, but she let me go to the parade still, but I, n- I didn't have a costume. Oh, you was one of those kids. Uh, no, walked around. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I had a regular, I had a regular fit on <laughs> with uh painting right here and on my nose. And everybody, I, I was with my cousins. I had costumes. That was the first year I never wore. I didn't have a costume. Yeah. And ever since then, I just never been. Wow. Halloween after that, Halloween was done for me. But I never, I never dressed up for Halloween ever again. Never went trick or treating again. I was seventh grade. I've been like after that it was over, bro. That's crazy, nigga. I used to, bro. I used to. I remember. Nah, I will never forget this story, bro. Like my mom used to make make my costume for me because I always want to do like I don't I don't like I don't like being like the costumes that they always had. I always yeah. want something cool. Like it all started because like I wanted to be Mario. Yeah. And they didn't really have like Mario costumes back then because uh-huh. Mario wasn't really that big. So my mom made me a Mario costume. Like she made me like the hat and shit like that. Yeah. And I remember that was fourth grade, and I remember. Fifth grade, I will never forget this. I wanted, I, I, I was chowder. Yeah, you remember chowder? Did I ever tell you the story? No, but I know chowder. Is. So I was chowder, right? So I had the purple, I had the purple hat. I was purple. Had the tooth right here. I had the uh-huh. little jumpsuit, and like you know, you know when you he go was built like him too. My bad. Did you fart? No, I didn't. Oh, I think you farted. <laughs> I said you was built like him too, though. Yeah, yeah. Every time I do like that, I hear it. He was built like him too, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, but so I was um. So you know when you when you for Halloween like you go outside and then you walk around the little shits and your mm-hmm. parents is there taking pictures of you like, look at you all your costumes. So we was out there fifth grade and I remember I will never forget the nigga name. His name was Michael Beckett, bro. Nigga looked at he was a he was a hockey player. Why well, heard this name before? No, nah, nah, you heard of Beckett. Oh, okay. there's a there's a Justin Beckett. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I ain't gonna. That's a two K player. No. Oh, that's a that's Justin uh, Howell. That's oh. Tyrone's man. Justin Beckett was a nigga that. Everybody loved in high school. That was in our grade. Nigga played varsity, played varsity every sport freshman year. But we didn't think he was. Shout out to you, Justin. Hey, I don't know if you're watching this, but you probably not. But hey, man, my mom, my mom, never, my mom don't like his mom. Fuck you. Let me stop. Hey, my mom, she, his mom was talking shit about me on the basketball court. What? Fuck your mom, bro. Hey, yo. <laughs> but anyways, so he was like, he looked at me. We was like lined up. He looked at me. He's like, he's like, what are you supposed to be? I'm like, dang, it's not obvious. And that, and that ruins your shit? Pause. Yeah, it ruined, it ruined my shit. It ruined my, I will never forget that. He looked at me and was like, what the fuck are you supposed to be? I'm like, isn't it obvious? Like, I'm chowder. She's like, chowder? I was like, dang. I look ass. Like I'm like, do I not look like Chowder? Like yeah, I'm ruined thinking, that, it ruined it. It ruined I, it for you. No, I, I was still I was still dressing up. I oh. remember seventh grade. I came in as a as a beat up Mexican. Yeah, I, I, looking back at it, that shit was crazy. I was this like, sick, bro. <laughs> they call me racist, bro. This sick, I had bro. a mustache and a black eye. They, they took a picture of me. Oh damn, Jay sleep. There's a picture of me in the, one of the yearbooks. I'll show you afterwards. But this nigga's sick. This nigga's call me racist. The last <laughs> costume I was, I was the bloody screen, bro. You like, basic nigga. That was my. I, I didn't think that was gonna be my last Halloween, bro. <laughs> nigga said that was my last Halloween. And then the, the year before that, I was Michael Jackson. <laughs> No, I wasn't Michael Jackson the year before that. Yes, I was. I was Michael Jackson the year before that. Yeah. Hey okay. yo. Nah, me and I remember me, me is Jordan, Chris, and uh Zaki. You know Zaki? Mm-hmm. So we all we all, we went trick or treating junior year in Milburn. And Milburn, that's where all the rich people at. So we went to the mountains. It's like in the hills and shit. So we was walking around the hills. And in me, Ish and Jordan, we was all we was like the ball brothers. Like I was, oh, je- yeah, you was Jello. I was Lonzo Jello and uh, um, Lamelo. Lamelo. Yeah, Ish was Lamelo and Jordan was uh, Alonzo. So you always just wore the jerseys. Yeah, we just we just wore um like I had, uh, cause that's when that's when Lonzo Chino just Hill. got drafted. Oh, that's when Lonzo got drafted to the Lakers. So Jordan had a Lakers jersey. I had a I had a Nuggets jersey, but I put like UCLA over the top uh-huh. because he was fifteen. And then I had and then Ish, uh, made a fake like Chino Hills jersey, and he uh-huh. he dyed his hair uh, blonde actually. So we was commitment to the costume. Yeah, we was like it was just like I feel like, and then I think that was the last time we went trick or treating. Yeah, nah, to, uh, seventh grade, but it was wrong. But I just that, feel like it's different for you because you lived in the city. It was no, it was lit. When I, when I went trick or treating in uh, the city, it was lit, bro. Really? Yeah, bro. Especially because it was a big parade too. Like they had like Halloween. Like it was a, it's a, it's like a, 
a part in Brooklyn where Halloween is like big and all the like you like when we go down to all the stores and all mm-hmm. the stores give you candy. Like it's lit, bro. Oh, it is. And like for me, it was taken from me, but I still I still went trick or treating, but I didn't have a costume, bro. Oh, you and thought I, yeah? And I didn't feel I didn't I didn't like for me after that I never got a costume. Ever so do you again, do you like this time of year? Do you like Halloween? Like I, I used to. I don't like I don't care for it. I don't dislike. It. I just don't care for it. I ain't gonna lie. Like I lo- like this is like. I realized, like, as I grown up, like, this might be, like, one of my favorite, like, seasons. Like, I, like, like, me and Jay went to a, went to a, like, a pumpkin pick, picking patch. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't even a pumpkin patch. It was, like, a pumpkin. Pumpkin. It wasn't even, we didn't even pick a pumpkin. I was mad as fuck, bro. It was, like, a, it was, like, a festival thing. It's called Happy Day Farms. Mm-hmm. And it was, like, a farm. They had a, they had a corn maze. And me and Jay spe- speed run that shit. Like, it was literally, it looked like Ken and Barbie. Like, they made yeah. it shaped like Ken and Barbie. It was recently? Yeah, we went like uh, Monday. Oh, and I think y'all did that shit years ago. No, nah, no, nah, we went Monday, and it was mad fun. Like, like the corn maze, like the we went on the big one. And it's like it takes like forty five to fifty minutes to get through. Me and Jay did that shit like twenty minutes. Uh-huh. Speed ran that bitch, and then they have like they have like food. They have like pig races. They have like animals. Pig races. Yeah, it's like when they run around the track and shit like uh-huh. that. They have like um they have like little cars where you drive like ride around and shit. They have like a hay ride. They have um, they have like uh, cannons. They have paintball guns. Whether you like shoot shit, it was mad fun. I just like, I, I just like being out there, like in the farm, and it's just like, 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 like it make you feel like a little. It make you feel like, 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 uh, like you ever watch, like you ever watch Halloween Town? Mm-hmm. Like it just make you feel like that. I'm just like, yo, I used to love Halloween because of the TV shows. I say, I, lo- I, I used, to, I used to, I used to have the the spirit, but I'm telling you, after that day, bro, yeah, it was going. But I used to love Halloween. I get Halloween, you. Halloween was like. Yo, what costume am I getting this year? Like, I get my, you. I used to be like, oh, look at this. Oh, I'm going to be somebody this year. I'm not thinking, I was a Venom one year. I'm like, yo, yeah. this year. And then after, from me, after that, I was just like, yo, I mean, Halloween's cool. Like, I get you. I get you. I think. I mean, I'm going to dress up this year, though. Yeah. I'm going oh. to be Blank Man. Yeah, you're going to be Blank Man, bro. I'm going to dress up this year, bro. Hey, man. I'm going to be. Don't, don't sleep on Blank Man. I'm going to. I think I'm going to be like. Me and Jay. I think me and Jay be like Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. <laughs> I think this is crazy. <laughs> But Peter Pan, Tinkerbell. But I want to I want to tell you about. Uh, Why would you be the Flintstones? Nah, she she wanted to be Tinkerbell because the costume. Oh, all right. Nah, I, I let I let that slide, bro. It was, it's, it's, you know you know you know what I mean. I, I let it slide. I, I, I'll wear the lead, I'll wear the shit just to make myself happy. You know what I mean. I'm just saying. I mean, Wilma is, is now, still. Now she wanted like she. It was either between like the Flintstones, but like I, I ain't trying to wear that big shit. Like you know, like just like that. I'd rather wear like at least the Peter Pan could look a little, little cool. You you can make it look cool. You ever watch Twenty One Jump Street? He did not look cool in that Peter Pan costume. Well, because that's fucking yeah. him. You trying to say about Jonah Hill? I love Jonah Hill. My fault, my fault, my fault. But I want to talk. Weight shaming is crazy. No, nah, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't weight shaming. But nah, even even weight shaming, bro. Like I I've. You you heard I heard recently that Japan is banning all American cereals in their country. Why? Because there's a there's a chemical in in our cereals that is like that can that can cause cancer. It's like BHT or some shit like that. And it's like flash, everything can, can, can cause cancer. Do you like like do you re, like do you ever realize like a lot of the shit that we eat is like really bad? Yeah. But it's like only us. Why is it only us? Like other like it's if Amer- you, that's American culture, bro. But like, but why though? Like you ever realize like in a and like like if you look at the fries ingredients in like McDonald's fries in, ingredients in America and like Europe, like Europe has two ingredients. It's like something in like oil. Us, we have like eight different like chemicals in that bitch. Like even Subway, bro. Subways bread is not even classified as bread because of how much sugar it's in it. No, they, it's called it, it's classified. It's technically cake. For real? Yes, it's technically cake for just how much sugar's in it. I don't bread, even, bro. I don't even know there's sugar in the bread. Exact, exactly. You just want to kill it. Cause, I mean, I don't. I think the the goal is to like the more obese people. You feel me? Like that. The more they need, we need. They need. We need their help. Yes, for me, like there's more health issues, and the more health issues, the more you know insurance. Or if you don't got insurance, the more you got to pay. That's an evil way to think, cuz. Yeah, bro. That's, that's an evil way to think. Why you, why you think cancer's still around, bro? Why, yeah, you think a, why you think AIDS still around, bro? That is true. Nigga, I, they, they, you you tell me they can't come up. They came up with a vaccine for COVID in, in, a, in a year. Yeah, that's true. Tell me they came from a vaccine for AIDS or or, or cancer, cancer or something to cure cancer. No, bro. The treatment, the money they make off that treatment, bro. They ain't, they ain't get rid of that shit, bro. Hey, you spend right now. Word. You really spend right now. That's why a lot of people, right? 
I heard a lot of people when they go to like if they have cancer and stuff, they get out the country. Mm-hmm. They go to like Asia and they cancer. Cuba, like, bro, Cuba got a good one too. Like niggas go to Cuba and, and, and save lives, bro. It's not even like it's not even saving lives. They just like just get away from all that stuff. Like they'll go to like China or like Japan and they just live amongst like 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 the the fruitful people that like mm-hmm. like eat off the land and like they have farms and they eat fresh stuff and then like it it actually like I don't know if it like it like goes away but it like lessens it. Like Did I ever bit. tell you the story about my uh well technically it wasn't really my grandfather but like my uh my my grandma's boyfriend yeah no my so man. he he beat cancer already right and this is like he died now but like he, yeah but like this is like a couple of years before he died they diagnosed him with cancer again really yeah like went to the doctor they showed it they found cancer and the, the dude was like no my, he was my grandfather was like no i don't got cancer and wow. they're like, yo, like, no, we found it. Like, just, you have to get on this now, start treatment, blah, blah, blah. He's like, no, I do not have cancer. And we're like, yo, like, yes, you do. Like, they, they're like, yes, you do, bro. Like, we are looking at it. I would get pissed <laughs> off, too. Like, he's like, I don't have cancer, bro. He, and they, he, they, he didn't do treatment or nothing. He went back, like, maybe, like, six months later for a check checkup again while the cancer was gone, bro. Nigga will, nah. nigga will cancer out of his body, bro. You're lying. He, you serious? I swear to God, bro. Everything I love, bro. He will. They tried to wait, but wait. Time out, time. What if they was lying to the nigga? No, they showed it, bro. He had cancer, bro. But like, bro. think about it though. What if they? What if they just showed him some bullshit? I, mean, I don't know. Whatever they showed, multiple doctors approved it was cancer, bro. He wow. had cancer. Wow. And then, like I said, he like for me, he said, "No, I don't have cancer, and I'm not getting chemo. I'm not. I'm not doing treatment." Went back like six months later, eight months later, wherever the time frame was, and the cancer was gone, bro. He welled cancer out of his body, bro. So wait, how did he die? He just died. Like, I mean, he died right? over age, old age. Just oh over wow, age. bro, that's that's some G shit. I ain't gonna lie, that's some real G he, shit, he, bro. He said, "No, I don't got that shit," and cancer left. Wow, that's some G shit right there, bro. The power of the mind, bro. I ain't go, yo. I'm telling the you, power of the mind is powerful, bro. You can really speak things into like this existence. Nigga, he willed that shit out of his body, bro. That's placebo, crazy. bro. He's like, I don't have it, and guess what? Cancer was like, I guess he don't got it, bro. I wow. guess we have no purpose here if he think he don't have Cause it. Cause I'm not gonna lie, like your mind really is a very strong thing. That's why I feel. That's why I say all. I be thinking all the time, like these foods is just here to suppress the mind. I think it is. You these want, foods. You go vegan. I mean, I. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's like going. That's what I'm saying, bro. As kids, we are built to know. We are built. On certain foods and certain tastes that we like, mm-hmm. that's why all these kids eat junk food, all these kids eat fast food, all that shit because they built it in when they're kids. So when they're adults, they're like, "Nah, I ain't trying to eat that eat that whole shit because that shit's not as good as this." Yeah. But if you give a kid vegan food from the rip, he go eat. That's all he gonna eat. Yeah, he gonna. That's what he be. But to. we are accustomed to seeing every time we go on McDonald's, they always show the kids. They only they, they barely they show family sometimes, but it's mostly kids eating Happy Meals, mm-hmm. McDonald's, Burger King. It's always shit like that but because it's like I don't know what it is. I feel like like I feel like they just try to suppress your mind for real, bro. Like especially like they they uh, I don't know if this is this might be a stretch, but like you know like weed and shit when niggas get high, mm-hmm. but like when niggas get high, certain niggas like focus a little bit more than normal. They enlighten that third eye. That's what you're trying to that's talk what, about, yeah, that they, third eye. That third eye, they enlighten. Like, a lot of niggas, like, a lot of artists, they get they get high before they make music, and it's great music. But uh-huh. if they, they can't, they need to do that before. But, like, imagine it's not high, but it's just, like, you're just wiping away the fog that they're putting on us with all this food. Uh-huh. And now you see something like a little, a little bit. I keep spitting, bro. I don't know. I just think it's... I just think that our minds are... Way stronger than we think it oh, is. Oh no, the power if, if we used our mind, but the power of the mind is so incredible, bro. This like think about, think about placebos, bro. Mm-hmm. Like oh yeah, yeah, there was this one story, bro, where this dude messed up his knee, bro. He couldn't bend his knee, he couldn't walk or nothing, bro. Uh-huh. And the doctors wanted to try something, so the doctor just put him under anesthesia and they did like fake stitches. They didn't do no operation. All they did was cut him open and stitch him back open, like cut like slice them and stitch them. Yeah. Why did niggas start walking again? Start running again? Start playing basketball again? Really? He started doing everything again just because he thought he had surgery, bro. He just thought he had surgery because they that's what they told they told him. Yeah, that's we did, crazy we did, though. We did, we did a we did a procedure. That's really crazy because like you gotta really think. Like, they did nothing to him. Yo, that's really crazy. Like that's that's honestly really nuts because you gotta really think, bro. Like your mind every day it, it's always running. 
when you sleep, that shit could mm-hmm. create realities for you that you might think is real. Yeah. All the time. Like, like even, like, there'd be theories about how, like, like you you know, before, like, when you die, like, it's called, the theory is called, like, everybody's dead. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's basically saying, like, they they proven that, like, before you die, like, as soon as you die, you relive your life, but it takes seven minutes. But in you to you, it's like a whole lifetime because yeah. you're reliving it. Uh-huh. So they're saying, like, imagine that's us right now. We, we die. Like, we're all dead, but we're all just living our lives, like, in that seven-minute span. But it feels like a lifetime uh-huh. because we're in our heads, and that's how powerful our mind is. Yeah. But we will never know. That's what I'm saying. It's really scary how powerful it is. Like, you know, like, do you believe in um, manifestation? Mm-hmm. Like, like the, you ever heard of the 369 method? Yeah. You, uh, you write your something three times. Six times, then uh-huh. nine times before you got to say it every time. Uh-huh. Like, that shit is real, bro. Like, that shit is really real. And I really feel like when you speak shit into existence and talk about shit, all the, like, you just speak it out, whatever, and you really believe that shit, it will happen. I do, yeah, I believe that, bro. And it's really crazy. Like, they don't tell us that when we kids, though. They don't tell us none of that. They just make, like, that's why it's weird. It's a weird, it's, it's a weird life that we live, bro. That's why I feel like... The mind is super powerful, bro. More powerful than anything in the world, bro. That's why they say speak good things to existence. Because the more you... Like you manifest it, the more you talk about it, bro, like your mind, you could really, whatever you really want to, bro, like if you really put your mind to it, like that's on some cliche shit, but if you really like, bro, what your mind is so powerful, bro, mm-hmm. like you could will through shit that you don't think you could will through just by like believing in it, bro. Real shit, bro, real shit. Like niggas really got powers, bro. Niggas really do got, homework. do your homework on niggas really got powers, bro. But I got a, I got a question for you, right? So since, since we're speaking about powers, would you rather have God-like powers or everyone thinks and treats you like God. But I don't have the powers. You don't have the powers. You're just you, but everybody looks at you and treats you like God. And I would like there's nothing that can prove that I'm not. They just believe they be like worship you. They worship you. I'd rather have the powers. You rather have the powers? Mm. Like you could like you could like make shit out of thin air and things like that. You could just like shit like that. I'd rather have the powers. Mm. I'd rather I'd rather have God like powers and nobody know than people look at me like, oh, that's God. Or I worship this guy and I'm just like a regular nigga. But like you're not a regular nigga to them though. Right, you're but, God. Yeah, but like, you know, I like I am, but like, you know, it's more fun to be like Or it's not more fun to be like, uh, if you want a better life, you do this for me. If you want a better life, this like you go you can shape your life however you want. Yeah, but like you're right. I guess I could get whatever I want regardless. Yeah. But I think I'd rather just the powers. you rather just the powers? Oh, Cause, man, cause bro. I, I'd rather, that's... It's, it's the same question. Would you rather be Would you rather be uh, rich or famous? Like, feel me? Like, nah, but this is not fame, nigga. This is, this is this, control. I mean, this is control. But I'm saying, but I'd rather be rich and not famous rather than be... All right. The, the, the cool answer would be the powers, but I'm going to go to fun answer. And you're I will. Gonna, you're gonna just, you're gonna manipulate niggas. I'm not gonna manipulate niggas, but I'm gonna be like like, I'm not a bad guy. People think I'm a villain. I'm not a villain, but I'm just thinking like ahead of. I'm thinking ahead. You know, thinking into the future. You know, I can shape the world of how I want it to be. Like, I, it's not like I'm controlling the world. I'm, I'm I'm not controlling the world. I'm shaping the world. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Niggas niggas walk down the street. They be like, Oh, I thought this shit. Say something real quick. Yo, 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 oh, yo. Oh, you good. I'm walking down the street. Everybody's like, oh, hey, Darius, you need anything? You need any help? You want me? I got, I have a problem. But eventually, bro, like, I'm not going to lie. That that much love, bro, you're going to get you're gonna get sick of it, bro. You think so? I, you're not going to get you're gonna get sick of that much of love and attention eventually. Okay. Sometimes you're going to be like, damn, I wish the nigga to tell me no. Mm. Why nigga I agree with me every day? Ah, uh, like, like balance. Yeah, like. The, uh, the, right now. the fun part of life is you can argue. You can tell your friend like, "Yeah, bro, I really think chicken's the best shit," and he'd be like, "Nigga, no, it's not a steak." That's a fun in life. Be like, "Hold on, you disagree with me?" I ain't gonna lie, you spit right now. Oh, you feel me? That's that. You 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 really spiritual That's court today, saying, bro. bro. You spiritual court yeah. today. This nigga's spitting right now. Yeah, Hold on, y'all gotta tap in for real. That's some real shit, That's bro. What I'm saying, bro. <laughs> but you or he might what? be toxic. Huh? He might be toxic. That might be that. That might be some toxic shit. How does that turn into me being toxic? What, where are we going with this? You want a girl to fight with you all the time? You don't want a girl to agree with you all the time? Hell no. You don't want to. You want a girl to fight with you all the time? You want to fight? You want to cause arguments? Low key. That's fun. 
that's some toxic shit. What the fuck? What's the, what's the fun in being like, yes, babe, love you, babe. It's okay, babe. Oh, you want to be like, be like, nah, fuck you, nigga. I don't yeah. fucking love you, bitch. Like, fuck I don't you, bitch. love you either, bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> nigga, want? I don't like Kanye. And then later, like, you know, I love, you know, I was just talking, babe. You know, I love you for real. Niggas is evil. You just be making me mad sometimes. You know, you know I don't mean that shit. <laughs> 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 nah, yeah. nigga, on, nigga wants a toxic relationship just to go back come into on. the end. Nigga wants the makeup check, like, bro. Come on, love you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's crazy, cuz. But hey, I- I'll pick the powers, though. I'll pick the powers. Real shit, though. That's some funny shit, cuz. You feel me? Hey, bro. You, you know, yo, what if you have it, like, feel me? I mean, I guess you, how you have really a bad day? You walk outside. Hello there. Shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> 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 Shut the fuck up, Wait, Leave bro. me the fuck a little bitch. Like, get the fuck out of here, yo. Yeah, just do something you say. Shut the fuck down. Shut up. <laughs> That's what hey, you do for yo, me. yo, bro. All right, bro. Hold on. I got... Ooh, I got something to talk about. I seen this today. I seen this today, and I'm excited, bro. I'm, I'm excited to bring this, because yeah, I got some evidence. This nigga got too happy. Bro. I got some evidence, bro. This nigga just got way too yo, happy. Yo, Bigfoot is real, bro. Bigfoot is real, bro. <laughs> Why, bro? Bigfoot is real, bro. Why is he real? So let me tell you about it, right? So over the weekend, right, there was a couple. I forgot what their names were. There was a couple that was that was on a train in Colorado. They was they was on a train. It was like sightseeing or whatever. And as they as they're going, Damn. they got a burp. Yeah, bro. I told <laughs> so, you had the burp. It just came out. Hey, yo. So they was on a train in Colorado, and as they was going, they looked out the window. And they was looking at the like the mountainside, and they see something walking. Uh-huh. They said it's tall as hell. Big as hell, and it's walking off on two legs, and it's furry, and they got that shit in 4K, cause uh-huh. f- this is the most cl- yo. I'm a, I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you so be the, the judge. Most clear shit ever, bro. Bro, I, bro, core. You you might think it's fake because of how much other fake shit is there in the world, but this I don't think it's fake, cause. Hey. This shit don't run. The fuck. Did you know that hearing is Look at that shit, cause. Yeah, say his name right, bro. His name is Sasquatch. Not Sasquatch? Nigga, I don't want to say that phone name. Do you see that? I don't see it. Yet. Oh, I do see it. You see that shit? What is that? Come on, Core. What is that, cuz? What is that, Core? What is that? Come on. Tell the people what you think it is, bro. It looked like Bigfoot. Hey, that's what I'm, hey, that's what I'm saying, bro. That is what I'm saying. It could be a nigga in the costume. But, Core, tell me why. Why would anybody go out there not knowing there's going to be people out there? Literally, the, the train is just passing by. Why would anybody just go out there? Let me see that shit, bro. I'm t- Core. Low-key, not look like, it look like... No, you sure, you sure. It look like Bigfoot, bro. That's what I'm saying. Because people... I, of course, people saying, oh, could be a nigga in a costume... But why in the world would somebody go out their way to put a costume on, especially go to a place where it's not a tourist attraction. It's literally a, like a train just going by. Like maybe, the, they, maybe they know the train going by and somebody going, somebody going to spot it. But OK, the train. is. But like it's like that's not a like it's like. It's like why would they want just a train like what if, like that's like not a big possibility of somebody's going to see you for real, especially that's just blending in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If it's a if it's an actual like he want to see niggas, he'll have like that dark brown looking motherfucker. Like that nigga is camouflaged into the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like if nobody, it look real. I ain't gonna lie. That shit look crazy. Like the way it like look real though. That shit's crazy, bro. Like, do you believe in Bigfoot? I do. I, I believe there's like a Bigfoot. I like I believe and I believe that there is Bigfoot. I just never seen him. I just think that you know. Over time, evolution. You know how we evolu- evol- we evolved to uh-huh. where we are now. I feel like there's different, like Neanderthals back in the days evolved different ways. Yeah. Like, oh, we evolved this way. Oh, nah, maybe some nigga evolved this way to the right and got a little bigger and a little hairy and lives uh-huh. in the wild. But they're not as they're they're pretty. They're smarter than the apes, but they're not as smart as us. But they're pretty. They gotta be smart. They really hidden though. That's what I'm saying. But like that, that is some crazy evidence. Like I understand, like I like I've been I've been into Bigfoot ever since I was a little kid, cuz I ain't gonna lie. I've been into this shit all the time, but like all the time all the shows I watch is kind of fake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like they do that on purpose to hide this. Yeah, they this had shit. a whole show called Finding Big. Yes, Bigfoot. I used to watch that, that shit all like, the time, bro. That was like that one like two, three seasons. Yes, bro. bro that's what I'm saying. That shit they, I don't think it was they, real. And they never found it. They never it. found the nigga, but like they was just like they was just bringing hope. And it's just like the fact that it's like it's just the fact that 
we I feel like the only way to suppress something to keep something secret is to push fake shit to make niggas not believe. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Catch niggas doing fake shit. Catch niggas out there like in costume. Catch niggas making fake content. Just do that. You'd be like, all right, you know, niggas is just faking it now. But when they really see it, like same thing with aliens, bro. Yeah. Like when niggas when niggas didn't believe in aliens for real, it's like we only we didn't we only be, didn't believe in aliens because everybody used to fake it all the time. Uh -huh. Oh, you didn't really get abducted. Like you could just be saying that. We don't know about nothing. The government's not saying nothing. Oh, UFOs in the sky, man, you just seeing some shit, whatever. Oh, little green people, you know, that they you just seen it from the movies, whatever. But when we start pulling shit out, like the government starts showing us, we look at it like it's fake. Because we like so yeah. used to this shit. Yeah, that shit not real. And it's like we look at we look at the video like this. 4K, the best quality we could ever see it. And we'd be like, the first thing we think about is like, nah, that shit fake because all we see is fake shit. Uh -huh. And it's like, it's hard to think of something real. And like, I don't know. I, I want to see, I want it. I want to see it. I don't know if I ever you will wanna, in my life. I want to see that shit with his own eyes so bad. Bro. Hey, bro, I do. I, yo, I've been, I grew up watching, my mom used to make fun of me of watching Big, Finding Bigfoot all the time. Every, yeah. every Saturday, yo, Friday yo, night. Yo, do your homework on our next Avengers. You're going to find Bigfoot. <laughs> hey. I didn't explain it because do your homework if you tuned in. You tuned in, bro. You should have did your homework, but you should have knew that by, by the start of the episode. But I was the type best. shit. But I even I, I after I seen that video, I remember a story I was watching. I don't know if you ever watched Mr. Ballin. You know who Mr. Ballin is. I think yeah. I told you about it. Mm -hmm. He told a story about the one of the first like encounters of like Sasquatch that people ever real like ever ha like uh, encountered. But it wasn't a picture. It was yeah. like actual like people were getting attacked. Uh huh. Right. So the incident is called the incident in, of. Ape Canyon. Yeah. So basically, in the forest of, uh, in the forest of like Mount St. Helen or Mount, in the forest of Mount Helen, that's in Washington State. Yeah. There was a group of miners in the 20s, 1920s. They went out there like mining for gold, like in the stream and shit like that. So they had a little cabin built up, but it had no windows. It was just like a box just for them to like lay in for like a couple of days and shit like that. It wasn't nothing luxurious. It was just, they was like rugged fellows. Like they was out there in the woods. So when they get there, right? They they look at their cabin and they see footprints. They seen a footprint. That shit was 19 inches long. Uh -huh. Big ass footprint. It wasn't no bear. It was a footprint. So they was like, okay, that's kind of weird. And one of the friends, they was like, you know, trying to find like some firewood or whatever. He hears a whistle, but it's not like a whistle like we do. It was like a like a like a like a talk about, talk about, talk about. Yo, what the fuck was that? <laughs> nah, that was a crazy I I can't whistle. What kind of whistle? That wasn't a whistle. It was bro. like a it's he like said, a he said, <laughs> <laughs> it was like a you know like like it's like a, I, I can't get the I don't know the sound I can't make the sound but it's like a think of like a call but just think of a whistle uh -huh. but so he whistles so he hears it in front of him but he doesn't know what the fuck it is and then he hears it behind him it's like nah there's no way the nigga got from there back here yeah. it's like he's surrounded so he's like you know what he didn't want to tell nobody to scare niggas so he went back but then it, it got brought up he was like wait you heard that shit too like I've been hearing shit in the woods too I just thought it was me so they was like, you know what, fuck it. We're not gonna we're not gonna eat outside, we're not gonna be outside in the dark, like in the fire pit. We're just gonna stay inside in the crib and go to sleep. So they was about to go to sleep and one of the guys they was thirsty. So they went out, they had to go get some water from the from the stream, whatever. So he he went out with two guys. It was it was um or two guys left, I meant. Two guys left and they went to the stream and they both brought their guns. Yeah. So they're at the stream and he hears the whistle again. And this time it's like they're like, wait. What the fuck? They're both looking at each other like, yo, what is that? And they're looking for the whistle. They're looking for it. And they see it was like a couple meet, a uh, couple hundred meters up on like a hill. They see this big, tall, hairy motherfucker on top of the hill just look at him. But he doesn't, the, the, the shit on top doesn't see them look at him. Yeah. But he peeps. So he hides behind a tree. And the nigga has like the gun on him. Like he sees him in the, in the shit. Yeah. And he's like, yo, what the fuck is that? The shit starts running down the hill because starts running down the hill. And as he's running, he's going like this. He's whistling over his shoulder, like telling More niggas, niggas, like, yeah, to come on. Niggas started booking it, went back to the cabin, locked up. They was like, yo, what's going on? He's like, nah, bro, there's something outside. And all you hear is rocks, like big ass rocks getting thrown at the cabin. There's like banging and shit like that. And it happened for like hours, like five, six hours. They just hear whooping and like fucking whistling and just hella movement outside. The nigga, the shit's tried to break in. They tried yeah. to shoot it through like the, through like the little, um, through the doors or whatever. That shit didn't do nothing. Or I don't think they shot through the door. I think, like, I forgot something happened. Like, they, they stuck the gun out the door and shot it. That shit, nothing, nothing happened. They still was trying to break in until it got a little light outside, and they didn't hear no more noise, and they escaped. 
Yeah. And they swore not to say nothing ever again, like just to keep it to them. But somebody spilled the beans at like a bar or whatever. Like they got drunk. They they told the story. How are you gonna tell that story, bro? And then like th- this was like th- this shit was all over the news. It was in the newspapers, and it got like this is in the twenties, and it started getting like like further out, and, like not even local. It started getting like nationwide. Like this is like the first time niggas was like being attacked by something that they don't know what it is. It wasn't no bears. It wasn't no mountain lions. It wasn't no whatever like cougars, whatever. It was something throwing rocks uh-huh. and trying to break into their cabin and then they, they probably could have broke in but they was just probably messing with them uh-huh. but like well, let's fuck with this nigga just like you know let's just fuck with these niggas but uh-huh. like just imagine that was you cuz I don't think I'm dead bro oh, y'all th- hell y'all th- I'm bro. like yo I'm gonna be like yo stop shooting bro let the nigga come in bro like I be hearing so many stories cuz like I be like I like of course I am not like one of those people that are diehard Sasquatch. I might sound like it. I'm not like diehard. That nigga Darius already found them, bro. Do you know <laughs> like I, I ain't those niggas that's gonna going go up to a protest and be like, "Yeah, Bigfoot is real. I love Bigfoot. Don't leave, leave him alone." This, that, and third. I just think that there's many possibilities to anything in life. You know, I look and, at and, and Bigfoot. This is me. <laughs> nah, it's not. It's not the main. It's not the main. But I just think that I can't. I can't say it's not real. If I never experienced it, but mm-hmm. I also can't say, or no, I can't say it's real because I never experienced it, but I can never, I can't say it's not real because other people experienced it yeah. and I'm not those people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's great logic. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't, like, I can't, like, rule it off, but uh, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it, like, shit adds up a little bit. Cause, you know, you gotta think about it. We have how, how many hundreds of national forests in the world mm-hmm. or national forests in our country. And it's like, they're, Highly protected by military for what reason at all? We don't know. It's supposed to be just woods. Yeah. So imagine they're trying to keep something in and not let it come out or keep people out from going into what it is. Uh-huh. And I even I heard another story on a Joe Rogan podcast. There was a guy he created a documentary on um Hulu. It was called Sasquatch. Yeah. And the documentary was based off of like his experience when he was um he went to a, a dope farm in like upstate Washington or whatever, like you know weed farms or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so this is. He was at the farm. He was like, he was like chilling there for like a couple of weeks. He was, a, he's a journalist, and he's just there with a buddy. And then two guys came to their cabin, like, like, and like they was covered in mud, and they was like panicking. They was like, yo, yo, like, like let us in, let us in. They was like, yo, you good? Like, what happened? He was like, bro, they found like three mutilated bodies in like the woods or whatever. And like there was like another dope farm that was like a couple miles down. And they found like like three bodies that was just like destroyed, uh-huh. and they've seen like tracks around it, like big ass footprints around it. And they swore, they was like, yo, I don't know what it is, but like no bear could have killed those people, no cougar. It was like somebody like ripping them apart. Uh-huh. It was like they think it's Bigfoot. But the guy, he was like, he was like at the time, he was he was a little scared, but like as he looks back on it, like he thinks like there was a little, they was a off, they was off some shit. Like, you know, there was like they might have been a little high or whatever. But that expired inspired him to create the series on Hulu about Sasquatch. I heard it's pretty like it's not like a, it's not a documentary, it's like actually like some scary shit. Yeah. I might actually want I might watch it. But it's like nigga said, might I'm watch a, it. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like I, I, I don't know. I just think, I just think it's cool to see that like it's not just us. You know what I'm saying? Like no. I feel like it's just cool to think that like you know it's not just it's there's more to there's more secrets in the world that we know that, about. Yeah, that that is like coming to light that we never knew about. That we're not alone, bro. Yeah, no, we're not alone in certain aspects. We're not alone in the skies. But I'm we, not gonna lie. I never thought we was alone, but it's. Like I said, bro, you think God or whoever, whoever made this universe, bro, mm-hmm. made it and only made us? Real shit. Real spill, bro. Only made us that we can see? Like, bro, there's probably beings out there that's smarter. Mm-hmm. I mean, probably, they, I, I'm pretty sure they are that's smarter, more mm-hmm. advanced, bro. And mm-hmm. then there's beings smarter and more advanced than them, bro. We, like, it just keeps going. But it's like, you got to think about it now. It's you know like, what I'm saying? How many, like, first of all, how many galaxies are there? Um, tr- like it's, there's infinity, but I'm saying, and it's and, and we're in one galaxy. We're in you, one galaxy. We're in the Milky Way galaxy. You telling me that in the other galaxies that we can't even fathom going? And you gotta think about it also that there ain't other shit and the real shit. And now, now let me let me talk about it. That's some, light years away, nigga. We exactly. can't exactly. We, we can't get there, bro. Ex- we will never get like in our lifetime. We would never get there. But now, now let me talk about it in a smaller sense. Think about it in the world, in our world, how big our world is. If you can give a percentage, how much of the world do you think we we discover? Like, as in, not even we're not even gonna count the water. We're just gonna count the, the land. Five. Even the, just the land. I think 
I probably I bet. I'll say more, twenty. I'll bet, say twenty percent. I, I, I bet you not more than twenty-five, bro. That's what I'm saying. So just imagine all that shit. We never even touch some. We never even touch certain lands in the world. Because we can't, we physically can't do it. Imagine mm-hmm. there's a, whole civilizations living over there. We never know about it. And I feel like we were, we were, we were trained to think. I mean, like we, like at the moment right now, we are at the top of the food chain. We are. That's, but that's what we think. That's what we think. That's what but we think. just, but just imagine. Always a, there's always a bigger fish, bro. There's always a bigger fish. There's never. We're, we're never at the top. And like, if we ever found that out, it's like shit. We will never know what to do. Mm-hmm. Like we're I always mean, used to. I mean, I feel like. Cause like, if you think about it, bro. Yeah. Let's say like, nah, we got we got firearms and weapons. But I about to say, like, but yo, like right? Bishop for example, right? Yeah. If Bishop wanted to kill me, I believe he could. Oh yeah, no, nah, for real. That's what I'm saying. Like, but it's like he don't got like the capacity to or reason. That's what I'm saying. But we know we not like feel me like man versus bear, bro. Man versus lion. They could kill us without gun, without a, without our weapons. But I guess because they got weapons too, but. That's what I'm saying. They're equipped with that. We 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 at, we, we had to create it exactly. They're equipped with that, so mm-hmm. they're already things that we can't fuck with exactly. But we always like, I right, guess what? I can't fuck with that. But guess what? I got something that will get me to the the mess with this though. Mm-hmm. I can compete now, bro. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like I feel like like our minds is the only thing that is like that's what I'm saying. That's how powerful your mind is, bro. That's the only thing that's keeping us have afloat. You, have you heard of this? You, I'm pretty sure you have you heard of the Centella Islands. Centennial Islands. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The 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 um, like the the off India with the yeah off India where the the they're like you can't go there and they're Mm -hmm. like they're not modernized. Yeah. Did you hear about the dude that was kept going? No. Eventually, that killed him. They eventually killed him. I think I go ahead. ahead. It was an Asian man. I think his name was something Poe. I might be lying just because he was Asian, but he was definitely an Asian man. But he was. A very strong Christian, spreading Christianity, spread very strong Christian. So his goal was to go there and spread Christianity. He wanted Christian, Christianity. Christianity, Christianity, yeah. Christianity. I said Christianity. Yeah, Christianity. Yeah. His goal was to spread Christianity. Very devoted Christian. He was about. He was like, feel me. Like he like his life was like that devoted was his life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he was like, I right, I'm gonna sail to the Centrally Islands and I'm gonna I'm gonna spread the word of Christ. Yeah. To them. Mm-hmm. So first encounter. If he found he found some people to get him illegally over there because you can't go over there. Yeah, yeah. Feel me? So he found some people that would get, get him over there. And their first encounter, they start throwing like rocks and spears at the boat and stuff. Mm-hmm. And they like they was like, "Yo, bro, we like feel me? we done this as far as we getting you, bro, because we like they 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 about to like kill us." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but he stayed on the boat off like near shore, but not like far enough where they not gonna mess with him. Yeah, but close enough where he could still get there. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like without like with effort. Mm-hmm. So. First day, film he write and he write in his journal like blah blah blah. First encounter with them, blah blah blah. So second day, he go back and try again, and he meets a kid. A kid, a kid comes close to him, and film he the kid's messing with him. I think the kid like threw a rock at him or, or punched him, and he shunned the kid for like because he, he's trying to spread the word of Christianity. Yeah, he's trying to spread the word, and he left gift baskets, and then they like threw like they like took whatever in the gift baskets, like throwing it, started ripping it apart. Like, yeah, yeah. Just to show him like we don't want this. Yeah, yeah. So the the kid comes up to him, he throws a rock at him or something, and he like shuns the kid, like he gets mad at the kid for like being like ignorant, like throwing yeah. shit. Yeah. So and then he got chased off the island again, and like ran to his like ship, and he documented it again. He was like, yeah, I'm 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 upset because that. They they didn't accept me and like the kids was laughing at me because I didn't understand what they were saying. Yeah, yeah. It, it seemed like they was laughing. They mimic laughing. Okay. And I'm gonna, but I'm devoted to this. And if he was like, in his journal, he was like, if I'm a sacrifice to spread Christianity, then I'm a sacrifice to God. Blah 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 blah. And he went the third day, and that, that was the last thing he wrote in his journal. If I have to die, I don't. I would love to to live to spread this word, but if I have to die to do it, then I'll do it. And then the third day he went, and he never like they, that was never like, came back. Never came back, bro. They murdered him. They killed him. And then like feel me, a lot of Christian a Christian, Christians like looked at him as a martyr for trying to like spread the word of Christ. And his dad was like, "I wish I would stop looking at my kid as a fucking martyr. He's a fucking idiot that that got himself killed to, to spread Christianity. He's not a martyr. He's a, he's an idiot." See, I understand. Like you gotta think about it, right? I I remember I I think I told about this on this pod before, but you gotta think about it as this, right? Those people are like, they are not us. No, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're not li- us. They're literally like Neander- they're ne- Neanderthal. Yeah, I was gonna say they're literally like ne- like 
they're ancient men, bro. Yeah, they're ancient beings. Like they are, they are the past. They stick. They they're sticks and sticks and stones, bro. And they will forever be sticks and. That's what I'm saying. That's what I also said before. Like there's different time periods in this on this earth, right? Because mm-hmm. that's a good example. Because that's where we started from, and it's 2023. And look how far we got, and they're still there. They're still there. Uh-huh. They're still. But they th- they're thinking like in their clock, they're in the beginning of where we were. Like yeah. that. Like that. Like say that's a. Uh, 900 BC, whatever. Uh-huh. They are still in 900 BC. And this is this is the best thing I've ever seen. Like, yo, we still like, look at this spear. Exactly. Bro. And what I, I, what I was about to say was that those people, right? They don't know that they're owned by India. Uh huh. But they're they just think that they're on their own whole island. But the reason why nobody has ever gone there is because India has made it made it clear, like we are protecting this land, we are conserving this land, and this is their island. But India owns them. So they think about it, like think about us, right? Uh-huh. We think we own this whole world. Imagine somebody owns yeah, us. Yeah, but yeah, don't fuck with it. don't fuck with the don't fuck, don't with, fuck the, with Earth. Don't fuck the Milky Way, bro. Don't fuck with the Milky Way because we looking over. Just uh-huh. imagine that there's like there's a higher being, just and like then, we're the higher being than and, them. And then there's somebody that comes down here, mess with us, yeah. and, get, and gets and gets smoked by the government. Exactly, like 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 how the aliens be coming down and seeing like the UFOs be flying around and shit like that. That's uh-huh. just like that nigga that keeps coming back. Uh huh. And he eventually got killed. We see a UFO, shoot that nigga down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Same exact Look concept. We spit him, yo, bro. it's crazy, bro. Like, niggas not thinking. It's a like, nigga like, yo, yo, we, we protect Earth, bro. Do not go there, bro. It's not even we protect, we own Earth. Oh, yeah, we own Earth. We can do whatever we want. We do want. Do not go there, bro. Like, ima- like imagine Indian people, like the, not, uh, not Indian, the Indian government, they, they send military to abduct these niggas. Uh-huh. Like, the, the abduct the niggas and send them around and do experiments to see how they are still like that. Yeah. Just like how aliens abduct us. Uh-huh. Imagine it's like that, bro. That's OD. Because we don't know what they're doing. They own it. They could be going over there secretly and taking niggas. Yeah, they definitely just, have, bro. Like, at least one. At yeah. least one. At least one's in the lab. He's like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. He's look Exactly how he's looking at us is how we look at the aliens, bro. Uh-huh. Same shit. Like, yo, what is this Literally, technology? Literally, we're aliens. And like, we, they, they see a helicopter and probably like, yo, what the fuck is that? That's a UFO. <laughs> what the fuck is that? This shit's <laughs> crazy, bro. That's really a crazy world we live in, bro. But it's like... We just so blind to all that shit, bro. And like I have like I remember we was talking like when we was talking about like how like we're ahead of people because of our minds. So I got I got a question, right? So if there was a creature, right, that was able to have our like same like brain capacity, uh uh-huh. which, which can that creature like be at the top of the food chain? Like that can that creature pass us? Like which animal would that be? I'll say like this is cliche, but apes. You think an ape, like a like a gorilla or, or some shit? No. The the good answer is an ape because they literally us but stronger. You gotta think of like animals that's like you gotta think of a, that's strong and it's and it's like very populated because you gotta remember like some like some animals are like endangered uh-huh. and there's not a lot. Like you gotta think like they can take over. I'm like what I'm thinking right now. I'm thinking like ants. Not either. I was thinking ants or rats. I was thinking rats. I was thinking deers. Deer no, everywhere. Don't think, you don't think don't, like don't, imagine deer are smart as a nigga. Like how smart how smart are niggas, bro? Because I, I still don't think that because you feel me, like they still pray. You think so? Yeah. I mean we could be pray if we in the wrong scenario. You're right, but they don't have the I don't think they have the mechanisms to, to I guess I guess not a lot of people have the mechanism to do that's that. That's what I'm saying. Like like deer are strong you know, as I'm fuck. Thinking, I'm thinking I'm thinking octopus. Ooh, octopus is like it's like how would they like how because now we are being hunted. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Uh huh. Like, they can't get on land. They can't get on waters. It got to be a land animal. It got to be a land animal. Maybe like a maybe like a, some type of bird. Maybe no, nah. I don't think a bird. I think it got to be something. What's something that's? What's something that's? That's why I'm saying deer because deers are big enough to really kill us if they really wanted to. And there is a, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of deer. I don't, I, I think I don't know. I'm still. I don't know. Maybe like a maybe like cougars or some shit like that. Maybe like a cat. I think I might just have to go with the a, 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 like a, a gorilla, monkey, or some type a monkey? of monkey, bro. Mm. That's crazy. Something man. that has the the yeah, probably a gorilla or a chimpanzee or something, bro. Okay, okay. And now let me let me biggie, let me piggyback on that question. I got a would you rather question. So now, which world would you rather live in? A world where all deer can fight hand to hand combat like humans, uh-huh. and they don't like us, or a world where all mosquitoes are the size of dogs. I don't, I don't fuck with the deers, bro. You gonna fuck <laughs> with the deers? Yeah, but I'm not messing we, with no mos. Somehow, so if a mosquito is the size of a dog. It's still hunting people, right? It's still oh yeah oh, and it's still probably you didn't. It's probably still as populated as mosquitoes. It's still carrying all the diseases mosquitoes are carrying, but now they're bigger, so now the diseases are easier to transmit. So you're gonna you're gonna take the shit with the deer? Yeah, but the, the, 
a mosquito the size of a dog, bro. Like like a size of a chihuahua. You're gonna be, you're gonna be, you're gonna be Capri Sun. You're done, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, you know what that is. And then true. think about this: you don't get bit by one mosquito, bro. It's multiple. Multiple. Mosquitoes. I ain't gonna lie, that stab, bites. not even the bite, that shit gonna kill you. That's what I'm saying. That's that like stab a... gonna hurt. That, if it, if you, Damn, you, you, I you, gotta fight. I you, gotta fight deer, bro. You gonna go from not feeling it to like, you gonna see him like run. <laughs> you, you ever seen that in them cartoons where the deer be muscular shit? And they stand yeah, up. I'm cool, bro. I just gotta avoid deers now, bro. Nigga, imagine, You're not gonna avoid no mosquito. Bro, imagine you just see you walk outside, you see deer just jump in your car because you killed their man's. That, you got for me now. You got live. You got to live alongside deers now, bro. You know. Now we, you know. Now, now you got to respect them. You got to respect them. You got to respect the deers, Ma- bro. Not low key. They they they, they, they can fuck up most Americans. They can, bro. Hand to hand combat. We have to respect them now, bro. They can't respect this gun though. They they could die from this gun. They can still get hunted. Wait, are they still? Are they smart too? Nah, they just they just skilled with hand to hand combat. Oh, like they yeah, they over there like fighting and shit. But that's just that'll be annoying as fuck. Like imagine like I'm like they're in the middle of the road. I'm beeping. I'm they looking at me like. This nigga, all right, bro. I'm about to beat this nigga ass. <laughs> and I, I start getting jumped by some deer. I'd be damn. I get jumped by some. That should probably hurt like shit. It will hurt, but would he you beat the fuck out would of you? Would you rather get beat the fuck up or or, or stabbed by mosquito? <laughs> you don't know about. You know about to say get to beat the fuck up and suck the fuck up. Anyway. Hey yo, shit, that is crazy, bro. I might choose the latter. Hey, cuz what are the what are the questions I got, bro? Before we get even more crazy and critical into this shit, bro. Um, all right, I got I got another I got a question, right? So. You're getting paid five hundred dollars an hour to be some guy's yes man, which means you must do whatever he says and you cannot say no. The stipulations are: you work ten hours a day, six days a week. You get one week off per year. You must work at least fifty full years until you retire. But your food and home expenses are all paid for. Are you doing it? Is that how much I get paid? Five hundred dollars an hour. Ten hours a day. Ten hours a day, six days a week. You only get one week off for vacation out of the whole year. And what's the things he going to have me doing? Whatever you want. No, I ain't doing that shit. You ain't doing that shit? 500? I ain't doing that shit. You ain't doing that? Wait, why? Like, I, don't, I just don't. My job got to be doing whatever a nigga want me to do. Like, Five, $500? if he asked me to do some freak shit, like. <laughs> like Five, look. Ah. He can ask me to do anything. Like, I might not have a good boss. Ah, uh, I know. You, that's the. What if I have a trash boss? Like they treat you like like you start whipping you and shit like a slave. Yeah, and I gotta be like, oh, like, yo, go, 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 kill that person. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, go kill that person is crazy. Him, go get him. Yes, sir. All right, yo, do the math. All right, say you work forty. Say you work ten hours a day. Say that's sixty hours a week. Do sixty times five hundred. What is that? Thirty. What is that? Three thousand. What's that? Three, uh, thirty thousand. You make thirty thousand a week, times fifty two. Do times fifty two. How much is that? A million dollars a year. A million. Uh, a million. One point five million a year. Bro, I'm not doing that, bro. You're not doing that's that. That's bank though. That's bank though. But I'm not doing it. You know, I'm not gonna do it either. Just because. But you got you get food, free food, and housing. Yeah, but like, I get the best house. I mean, whatever. You rich, like you rich, like whatever one you pick, like yo, let me get this mansion. But like, you are working. I'm saying I'm working sixty hours a week, bro. And it that's could be over, that's over overtime. I'm getting overtime for it. But what? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, nah. I mean, what if what if you have a nice guy? What if he's cool? Like he just like just, like just go just, get me coffee. Just chill with me. Say so, yeah, but I, I'm rolling the dice. You rolling the dice? I mean, what are the odds you really get a di- really get a dickhead or a fucking evil? The odds is high, doctor, bro. Doctor Doctor Doofus. The odds is very high. Bro. Rich people are that much of dickheads? <laughs> yes. Bro. Jesus Christ. Once nah. You get money, it changes you, bro. That money changes niggas, bro. Yeah, bro. Do your homework on money changes niggas. Do that homework on money changes niggas. I don't want to do my homework on that because damn, bro. Five hundred dollars a month. Five hundred dollars a day, a um, hour. hour. I ain't, I'm not doing it. Final answer, I damn, I only get a week off. Fuck, and I can't you call get out. A, you only get a week and a day off. What's my hours? So I'm working at what, a eight to eight, a ten to not, not, that's not even a yeah, it's a ten hours. Eight to no, eight. no, eight to six. Eight to six, bro. <laughs> eight to six every day. Monday through Saturday, Sunday, Sunday you go pray. Nah, bro. it's not worth it. It's not worth, bro. Oh man, I you know what? I won't. I'm cool. With it. Cause I want to like. I'm cool. I also want to enjoy my bread. I wanna, That's what I'm saying. I you won't be able to enjoy I that can bread. Only enjoy my bread on a Sunday. Like, oh yo, yo, Chick Fil A not even open for real. <laughs> Fuck, I can't even get Chick Fil A. Get Chick on the Sunday, bro. Shit. 
Yo, let's yo. You want you want link? Yeah, link me on Sunday, bro. <laughs> link me on Sunday. <laughs> yo, I watch Sunday. I'm about to put that shit on. <laughs> like, nah, bro. <laughs> you go. You gonna have that flash it on Sunday? Yeah, bro. Catch me on Sunday. Well, you go. You get out bro. at six p.m. You get you get, you get the nightlife, nightlife, nightlife vibes. The, yeah, but you can't stay out too late. You gotta be up at, at, at eight a.m. again. Saturday night lit. Saturday night you lit. Saturday night I'm lit. Nah. Saturday night you jumping, bro. Every Saturday night is, is a party. Every Saturday, every Saturday night, is night. OD, bro. Like yo, and it make the look. Think about it. That makes you. Appreciate it more because you don't have it every day. No, that's gonna make me hate it. Because think about it, rich people; they they used to this shit, bro. Like you gonna still be you. I'm gonna dread, because you, can, you I'm gonna dread my life. Like you look like night, bro. like don't you be feeling like that normally? Would you work? I don't know. I don't dread. I don't. I don't dread my weeks. To look for. I work on the weekends though. So you don't work. I work on the weekends. That's what I'm saying. So I don't. I don't. I don't look forward to Friday. It's not like oh yeah, Friday. I get Saturday, Sunday off. Like no, I'm like damn. I work Friday. Saturday, that's what I'm saying. You gonna be feeling the same way, and then Saturday night, like yo, I got, I got, now I can use my bread no bro look, look, now I get, look i'm spinning right now I'm, I'm trying to tell you no. now you can use your bread for the next 38 hours no <laughs> you get 30, 30k a week not because like i said i'm rolling the dice what if i get a dick bro like oh. what's the worst what's, <laughs> what's the what's the worst thing he gonna do what's the worst thing he tell you what to do you want to rape me bro like, like like he's like yo bend over right now yeah and i got it yes yes sir hmm <laughs> You think niggas? You think? You slap, think? Slap your mama right now. You, you think yes, slave sir. owners ever did that shit? Of course. Back in the days, like they was of like, course. Was like, yo, he was like, you was a bad slave. Oh my yeah, god. Of course. Oh my god. Oh my god. You think there was? You think there was Mookie yes, slave owners? Yes, bro. Yes, of course. Mookie slave owners. Corey, go take a yo. Go take a bath. So I can fuck you. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Of course, not bro. the not the Mook slave owners. The Mook slave. The, the, the DL. The, D, the DL slave owners. Yes, bro. I'm, yes, I, I'm pretty sure that that was very common, bro. Oh my gosh! You stink. Go take a shower so I can do nasty things to you. Like yo, like yeah, like yo, you you was a bad like, yo. Suck my oh, that's evil. That's evil. Not gonna lie, that's some evil work. And you can't say no, or you get you lashed can't or say killed. No, bro. God damn, bro. That's that's worse than the. That. I'm gonna say no though. Kill me, bro. Oh yeah, kill, kill me. With my dead body, bro. <laughs> kill me. Kill me. Go. Oh, they gonna hang you. That's a dare. That's nasty ways to die. Fuck it. Like, like you, you ever heard of that one slave that was like he was like built Ock and they made him just like his his main job was just fucking bitches so he can get like his offspring will oh, yeah. be him. Like he was just like he was like he was big as like, he was like six 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 seven <laughs> like <laughs> like sturdy and he would be like he was like he fought like a hundred girls a day just to create more slaves like him. Hell of sex. <laughs> that's like that's evil, yo. That's like I'm breeding. Gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. Would you mind being him though? My meat would hurt. <laughs> Fuck it, nigga. A hundred times. Would you rather do that? Or pick cotton. That... <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> hey, you rather do that? Or pick cotton. I'm like, hey, master. I'm picking cotton with Jay, bro. Hey, ma- Me and Jay picking cotton together, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna be outside the field. Jay inside. All right, what if it's Jay all the time? Huh? What if it's just of Jay course. all the time today? <laughs> of course. Of course. I'm like, hey, master, I ain't picking that shit. Give me a vibe. I'm good, bro. Give me that pill. Give me that red pill. <laughs> Niggas is crazy, crazy bro. Give me that rhino pill until my heart explodes. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's wild, bro. Oh, my gosh, man. Give me some honey packs, bro. Either I'm, I'm going to die either fucking or my heart going to explode. But guess what? I'm not picking no cotton, bro. <laughs> That's going to be you? Unless it's for however we, what Joe Biden doing again. Unless it's for that. And I'm doing it. Oh, wow, bro. All right, bro. But you got anything else you want to say, bro? Let me see. I wrote a, I have some notes. Let me see if I got a good would you rather What question. you got to say? You got a would you rather? It is 1.37 in the morning. Yeah. We are potting for y'all, people. Y'all better appreciate it, too. If you, if you're, if you made it this far in the channel... Comment down below. If you also made it this far, send it to your best friend. If you also made it this far, like the video. If you also made it this far, send it to your family group chat because I know you got one. Don't look at me and lie. Don't look at my, my face on your phone and lie to me like you don't got a family group chat. Did I just lie to him? Did I just lie to me and you didn't do it? Do you want me to say what I'm about to say right now? Should I say that shit? Yeah. Should I say Should I really say I don't want to say that shit because I'm, I'm positive. I'm positive right now. Tyrone looked at me like it's crazy. You happy? You want to say it? Yeah, I'm happy. But you do you want to say it? They got five seconds for what? Or what happens? If I go into your bed and throw your mom out the window and shit, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. You better stop, bro. You better chill out, bro. I'm going to take your grandma's teeth so she can't chew in the morning, nigga. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, now she's going to be... Oh, damn. That's crazy. You're going to take her teeth. I'm going to take her teeth, bro. That's an evil thing. I don't have no questions. You don't got no questions? So you want to... You want to say something to them before we dip out of here? I just told you, bro. Oh, yeah. Follow the Discord, bro. 
Yeah. Follow the Discord. Join the Discord, bro. Follow the YouTube. Follow the TikTok. Follow Apple Podcasts. Follow uh, Spotify. Spotify. Follow Google Podcasts. Follow everything. Get the merch, bro. No, merch is not coming out. Sorry. No merch. I lied, bro. Don't, don't <laughs> merch, no bro. merch yet. No merch yet. Yo, subscribe to the Patreon, bro. We about to make a Twitch. Yeah. Subscribe to the Twitch, bro. We won't be live streaming now. Join the Discord. Talk to us, bro. Real shit, real and, spill. And another niggas is gonna talk back, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you again, my brother. And this is a great. And, and you feel me? I gotta represent. I gotta talk talk to them about my man's brother. Go ahead, this, tell them about your man's this legend, bro. This is this is this is my god, bro. You feel me? I worship. God did. I worship this guy. I brought. God the, did. I brought. If you do your homework on me being the, the biggest Derek, Derek Rose fan in the world, bro. I had. I brought. I got the Knicks jersey, and I know I don't. I don't got the four on. I got the original Nick, bro. Feel me? That's how long I've been a D Rose fan. I got the Chicago jersey in the bag. I got the Timberwolves jersey in the bag. I even got the Cavs jersey in the bag. But I decided to go. I'm a Knicks fan, so I'm, I decided to go the original Nick, though, not the, not the number four, twenty five, bro. That was when he was Simi, there. Send me in high school number. You feel me? Real that's, spill. That's what I'm doing. So shout out to that nigga Derrick Rose. I love that nigga, bro. Real shout shit. out my nigga Derrick Rose. Is he that Derrick or D yeah. Rose? Shout out my, my nigga D Rose. That yeah, that nigga nice. I think he said Derrick. Shout out my nigga. No, he said D Rose. Shout out D Rose. Man, that nigga. That bang, 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 bang. Nigga, that's that shit, shit I don't, don't like. Bang, bang. You feel A bitch, nigga, that's that shit I don't like. Bang, bang. Damn, snitch, nigga, that's that shit I don't like. Bang, bang. Sneak, that's that shit I don't like. Hey, don't like. Oh, say no dreads, nigga. <laughs> but if you're new to the channel, thank you again for tuning in to another episode of No Rings Podcast, episode 109. If you're new, huh? Oh, you should, you knock your thing out. Oh, oh If my you're God. new to the channel, subscribe down below. Send it to a friend. Send it to your brother. Send it Have to you your mother. It? Send it to your dad. Send it to your girlfriend, boyfriend, all that shit. New content is coming soon, people. We as work, we as grinding, we as locked in. New content coming out, IRL content, video game content, new shit. Mm. Other than podcasts, we are trying to bring the entertainment to y'all, and we try to make it fun for y'all. You, you know, made what I'm saying? It, if you made it this far, what you need to comment? Let's see what y'all can comment, bro. Comment your favorite NBA player if you made it this far. Comment your favorite NBA player. Or your NFL. Comment your either your favorite NFL or NBA player if you made it this far. Yes, sir. And ha if you celebrate Halloween, happy Halloween. If you don't, fuck Halloween. If you if you shit. celebrate Halloween, drop your drop your costumes in the Discord, bro. Type shit. Oh, it's Join that a Discord. Too early for that, right? Yeah, no, nah, it's, it's you can early. still do it. Though. It's spooky you, season. Spooky it's spooky season. season, bro. If you if you celebrate Halloween, drop your costume in the Discord and we get to rate them, bro. Yeah, you know I'm saying we love y'all, man. We different. They regular no regulars, man. Gangsta. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it.